¿Están listos? No te escucho, México. ¿Están listos? Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come. The grand finals here in Mexico City. Two of the best Gears of War players are here on the stage to battle it out. $200,000 on the line. Are you guys ready to see this matchup? Let me introduce you to the defending Mexico, Mexico City champions. Without further ado, representing the green wall, we got explosive! Also representing the green wall, we got Solon! Also representing the green wall, we got Prado! <laughs> and also representing the green wall, we got Mental! And we also have Summons! And coaching them, we have Ashes! All right, guys, we also have Denial up here and representing them here to take down the green wall. We have Icy! We have Razzix! We also have Franchise! And also Rushies! And also representing Denial, we got Sleepy! And coaching them, we have Fatal Strike. All right, gentlemen, I see explosives, come on over here. All right, this is for everything. This is for the glory. This is for the championship. This is for the bragging rights. I'm gonna start with you, Explosives. You know, you are the returning champs coming to Mexico City. There's been a lot of pressure, obviously. You haven't been playing your best. I know there's things that you've been talking backstage, things that you need to work on. What are you gonna do to take out Denial? Uh, honestly, that first match that we played them, uh, it was actually like a lot closer than it should have been. Uh, they had pretty much advantages on all of the initials. They, they won all the initials. The fact that we even got to that point, uh, it, it's pretty crazy. Uh, but honestly, now, now we're pretty warmed up. We're later in the day. Uh, if we could just flip those initials around and, and take some, then uh, I'm, guarant I'm guaranteeing you win. So you've been seeing Denial play. They're obviously really aggressive. You know, these are veteran players. How are you guys going to take down Denial? Uh, I mean, historically, uh, the, the trophy is theirs for the taking. Uh, the only time uh, a team has ever come from the loser's bracket and won was actually when we beat him and his team in London. So uh, hopefully we can do it again. So having Icy up here, does that uh, bring any feelings, any old feelings of, you know, the past? Uh, not really. Uh, he, he pretty much knows where our loyalty stands. Uh, we're, we're loyal to our teammates. Uh, he used to be our teammate, but now he's not. So he's on the receiving end of all that hatred and anger. All right, I see. You know, you guys were talking backstage, and some of the things that I heard was a lot of camaraderie, a lot of unity with your team, and the fact that you guys said something that kind of stood out to me, and that was the fact that you guys are different than Optic. You grew up different. You want to explain that? I mean, everybody says they're different and stuff, but um, we have to beat the difference. You know, everybody loses the Optic when they shouldn't, and we're the only team that can do it. So I want to know, being up here, you obviously used to play for Optic. If in fact that you win, who do you think Optic would drop? Well, there's a couple things actually. First of all, two of them didn't win here uh, last year. I did. And I don't think that they would drop anybody. They like pretty much everybody on the team. Um, if anything, Billy would like quit or something, who knows. But. 
I don't care about that. I just want to play. So this isn't personal. This is just an internal, I need to win, and that's just it. I mean, it's always going to be personal. I mean, I believe in myself. That's a big reason I left that team. I want to beat them. All right, and what would this mean to you and your team if you guys took Mexico City from Optic Gaming? I mean, it would mean everything. We work six days a week, 12 hours a day, so it would mean everything. So do you feel you're better prepared than Optic Gaming? Uh, no, because they had like our second stream that we practice on and stuff, but I mean, we still have to hit the shots and so do they. All right, well guys, shake hands. Let's get this grand final started. And the stage is officially set. You see the main stage, you see that trophy, those players both huddling over it. And boy, does this mean much more to both of these teams than that trophy, than the $200,000 total prize pool. This means rivalry and blood for these guys. It really does, man. It's about to be a great grand final. I see people walking whole pizzas in here. Yeah. They about to get locked <laughs> and loaded. They're expect are they expecting, are you expecting a bracket reset? Is that what you're trying I to say? I am. You are? You're oh, just going to go out and say it. I'm not. Man, Goldboy doesn't care. I'm not. We'll be out of here in like two hours. <laughs> two hours? <laughs> well, not less than that. About an hour and a half. Hours. Hour and a half. Yeah, this is about to get started. I so just want to say, there you go. it was about pride up there. You could yeah. just tell, like, both both guys, like, they didn't want to, they didn't want to, like, say too much. They didn't want to get anything too heated. They yep. kind of just wanted to keep it yep. civil. But, you know, I mean, credit the power for trying to bring that out of Icy. I just think that, oh, boy, you could cut the tension with, with, with a knife, of course. And I think it's because if you talk, if any one of those guys talk trash to each other, it's just going to fuel the, uh, the That's opposing side. More. That's yeah, true. Yeah, they just want right. to worry about each other. I'll tell you right now, after one round, they'll be more, have more of the fuel than, they, than they'll need for the entire Correct. match. It's about to be very, very energetic here. Welcome back, guys, to the desk. Fallout here, joined alongside Golden Boy Blaze. We'll be calling the action all match long. Of course, to my right, we have Jay Ribs, of, formerly of Ghost Gaming, formerly of Team Envy, formerly of Infinity. Mm -hmm. The yeah. list goes on for this guy, the inaugural Gears of War 2 champion, only player in Gears of War history to win three championships across three Gears of War titles. It's a pleasure to have you on the desk. Thank you so much, Paul. It's a pleasure to be alongside you guys, and uh, this Grand Finals is going to be exciting. I don't think I'm going to see a bracket reset either. The maps are in favor of the Nile, I believe, but Explosive said they're warmed up now. It shouldn't have been that close last time. Let's see if Optic is, can pick it up now. And speaking of maps, let's go ahead and take a look at the maps, picks, and bands to see how the action will be underway. You see our beautiful names there, Alex Mendez. That's me. That's you. That's Global me. icon, the national treasure. Awesome. Map. We got maps, pick, picks, and bands coming up in just a bit. But so let I know you know, they are, one though. thing that's very interesting, we do know it. they are. I guess we can jump into it. There we go. See sound sync. I guess the one thing that's very interesting, you see it first and foremost, the first map that Optic Gaming bans is Slab and not Forge As Blitz. they should. They're auto ban. They as they should, man. They could not deal with rushies and his drop shot, or his drop shot pickups. They could not deal with franchise and his <laughs> strategies on that. They now had their number. Optic Gaming had to get rid of that, Blaze. I think Rib's thinking what I'm thinking, but rushies might be more of a threat on Forge Blitz than yeah, he was on Slab. On slab. Okay. He was a threat on Slab. It's a reason why that was Optic's auto ban. Optic might have even did better playing Slab for the third time and learning from their losses against Ghost and Denial and going back into that map. Playing Forge Blitz for the first time in this tournament, all right, let's see if they about it. And what's interesting is I've been talking to Fatal Strike all tournament long, Ribs, I know you have as well. He feels like he's truly been in the heads of Ashes and Optic Gaming, especially in this category, map picks and bands, where perhaps a coach could have the most impact based on preparation and studying. Fatal Strike being one of the most prepared coaches in the game. How do you think he's feeling about these maps? I mean, both teams are immensely prepared, but this is something I would never have predicted. Uh, Lift has always been a very scary map to play against Optic. That's why they picked it there. Yep, pick. If the Nile is able to take that map, I think that is going to spell doom for Optic. Mm. Forge is the same map that they lost in Mexico City Season 1. It was old school Forge. The Forge Blitz is the yeah. newer one. But still, Optic hasn't really played that map competitively on mm -hmm. land because of that for so long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what's interesting about the lift pick as well, I don't think I've seen lift played all weekend long, and we do know how great of a team Optic is. So perhaps Ashes in this chess game is one step ahead of Fatal Strike and Denial. Blaze, when it comes down to it, Old Town is map number three as well. Optic just got done playing in Old Town, so they got some mm -hmm. practice on it. Really, at the end of the day, do you still have Denial one in this one? Yes, I do. 2-0. <laughs> we'll be out of here in an hour and a half, John. You asked me three times, and we got the same answer. Just, so you know? just so you know, he, he said two hours a second ago. Yeah, now he's saying an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. So that's rather ambitious. You, you, you look just, at what, what, you, what are the scores line, score lines supposed to be like? 7 2, 7 3? Oh, you oh, want me to go no, next? No, no, no. Because I, I, I hit those on the head as well, okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, you, you're gonna have you're gonna have a uh, a seven four and a seven three denial. Look at this guy. Wow. Jesus Maybe Christ. he should be betting on the Super Bowl. I but don't know. I <laughs> tried to, but I was in Mexico and I couldn't because of the VPN. <laughs> can I bet you? Can I bet you fifteen dollars on on stream right now? That no, this is happening. Right, right here. No, I'm not a part of this at all. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Family <laughs> friendly brand. <laughs> no betting, no gambling. All right. Well, there you have it. Blaze is saying 2-0. I'm gonna ask the rest of y'all. Golden boy. Overall predictions and map count. Are we resetting the bracket? You said yes or ready. I think Optics Who's resetting the bracket, but I think Denial is going to win. Interesting. I, yeah. If, ribs, your thoughts? It's I think there could be a bracket reset. It all comes down to this lift map. It, yeah, really, it really does. does. It really, it really does. does. Sure. It's one. hard to, to win that many maps of Gears of War in a row to win a tournament. True. Okay? Optic Gaming has not been perfect. Denial has been countering them. Between Fran and Fatal Strike on the adjustments, for Optic Gaming to stay at that pace for four maps is going to be the most difficult thing that they ever done, and they haven't done in a long time. And I don't know if this team is in the right headspace to do it. Well, Optic Gaming wasn't perfect in London either until they got to the grand final, and they reset they the bracket the pressure, baby. against Icy of e United. This time, Icy wants to close it out. He's been here before. He's ready to learn from his mistakes. What a name that he has become in the Gears of War scene with Denial Esports, of course, led by Franchise. Let's go ahead and jump into a video to take a look into Denial Esports. The key to victory for this tournament is to stay at our highest potential, at our high at all times in, in terms of communication, slaying, you know, um, positivity. Bringing that raw energy that we have and, you know, not leaving anything at home. Uh, the biggest motivational factor would have to be the country of Mexico. This is where I would say my Gears 4 career uh, started. This is the first time in this country I placed third place. And the following time, I place second. If it, the pattern continues, we will place first and raise that trophy. We're going to win the tournament. Nobody in this community, like regardless of what they say, no team, like nobody is going to stop me from, from trying to achieve that. Well, we've heard that before. I see claiming to win. This time, his chances seem all too high. He, of course, was one of the few players to get booed on that stage. I don't know what it is, but I see the uh, bad boy of denial. Uh, uh, you know, uh, he uh, plays spoiler. Also, something <laughs> else I want to state that a lot of people uh, don't realize is that throughout the entire Gears 4 uh, two, last two seasons, the only team to come out of losers is Optic Gaming. But the only pl the player that's on that stage that they did against was Icy. Icy was on that E-United roster who beat Optic in the winner's finals and then lost four maps in a row. So explosives in them, I'm pretty sure they got that in the back of their mind that they've done it before against them. So they need to, they, they need to be prepared. Yeah. We're about to have a crazy grand finals in our hands. Yep, that's for sure. And of course, if you are just watching for the first time, get ready for what's going to be an unbelievable match. If you're relatively new to Gears Esports, this rivalry dates back six years between franchise and this Optic Gaming squad. He, of course, is 2 and 16 to them, something insane. Not the best winning record against this squad, but he beat them once in the Season 2 Finals of Gears Ultimate Edition. He beat them once at Hypo Station 4. He beat them once in Mexico City two years ago, and he's looking to do it again here. Ladies and gentlemen, the stage is set. The Grand Finals are ready. We have Optic Gaming going up against Denial Esports. Let's get it. All right, here we go. You got to put the past aside. It's all about the present. The Gears Pro Circuit Championship. Optic Gaming, Denial Esports. Two organizations that have clashed across a variety of different games. But it's all about Gears of War here in Mexico City. And we're on lift. And we're already off the break. We're going to be taking a look at Solar's here to start things off, Blaze. No matter where you're watching from, if it's Twitch or Mixer, let us know who you want to win. Put in the Is chat. Is it Denial or Optic? Hey. It's going to oh. be intense. Solar's, though, he's actually going to get caught off by Icy. Icy able to get that first blood early on now. Summons, though, is going to be dealing with a mix-up here from Sleepy, and that's going to be the kill there for him. Explosive as well follows up onto Franchise. That means that you have two players down for Denial. Optic Gaming all five up currently, and that means that Optic will continue to march on forward here and see if they can get control of C, take it away from Denial. Currently, as Icy is going to be on the come up, but they got the crossfire, they got the precision, and this is the thing that I think, you know, we were talking a lot in the back about Blaze, just the way that these players have been working together so well, utilizing their Lancers. It's not just a Nasher game anymore. You got to really bust out those support weapons and help each other out. Yeah, uh, you know, on a, on a map like left, in the first half, we usually see a lot of home hill setups. That A and the C hill, as you guys can see on your screen, is very close together. All you got to do is cap your home and, press and push across. And this is a very viable setup that we see a lot of teams doing. 
zone. But in this one, you're going to see Optic Gaming slowly start to push in. They're going to finally get this heal cap. Sometimes you have to sacrifice a player to get that cap so you can get the full benefits from that home hill setup. I feel like also, Blade, oh. we're looking at a completely different Optic Gaming oh. here. Explosive. He's going to get the down. That's going to be the kill onto Icy. And that will be four players down for Denial Esports. Last player left alive is going to be Franchise. And he's going to hang out by B. And Optic, they're going to have his number for the time being. He's going to have to back away, wait for his teammates to come up, spawn. That's why he went to the right. But he has to contest his domination. He knew Soldiers was going to stay there for too long because it is round one, and the respawn timers are going to be 12 seconds. So we're going to have a lot of action in this first round. That's why Optic Gaming not able to close this one out just yet, but it's still anybody's game. That one player of Optic Gaming protecting his spawn, protecting that wraparound that possibly down. happened Three from Denial. Down. It's a mosh pit Making down four. Low. That's going to be four. Franchise once again is going to just be the last player standing by B. It's like deja vu, except this time, the Optic Gaming are going to be on the move. They're going to decap B, forcing Franchise to have oh. to make a play, but he's going to get chucked from behind, and he got Denial. They're coming off the spawn. Three seconds. Are they there to stop it? No. Optic Gaming will get that first point on the board. Now, Optic Gaming needs to win 28 rounds. I'm going to be very Against honest, denial. I think they're very capable of doing it. This this looks like a, a different Optic team than what we saw in the winner bracket finals. I do agree with they that. They look caught off guard in that first round on slab. They're in a comfortable area right here on lift. I like this Optic team. Explosive said they were warmed up, Blaze. Yes, yeah, it is. So, Denial, one thing uh, that has been the key to their success over this entire weekend is Rushies. Just based off his mechanical skill, him running that front spine, getting all these quick picks uh, on these power weapons. On this map, it is going to be icy with the front spine as well. So, uh, you know, I'm going to see that he he's going to have to get that drop shot if Denial goes to play for it. In round number one, you saw Explosive with seven kills. Let's see how they're going to end up counter, countering this uh, weapon placement. Certainly is a player that is the difference maker. He's been dominant in Gears 4 ever since the game released. But the drop shot, Rushies, that's a familiar name that you're going to see picking up that weapon. Resnick and Rushies are going to die courtesy of summons and praise. Franchise and Icy, though, are going to follow up with two of their own. Sleepy We're going to have busy. an split now. Icy, Sleepy versus Mental and Explosives. And Icy's going to back away because he's getting challenged now from Explosives, which leaves Sleepy by himself. The melee comes through. Ooh. Sleepy's going to be very weak. He goes down to boot, and that was very well done by Optic Gaming. Really just isolated them with those Lancers. Played that one very well. And Rushies end up dying with that drop shot as well. Didn't get a chance to see how he did end up dying, but Explosives is going to be down mid-map. Denial trying to push across, clean up some of these kills. You see to your right as well, Mental locking off that top rock. He's going to be posted up there, and so he's going to be stopping a lot of these pushes from Denial across uh, that deck area where that drop shot is placed. But Rushies looking for a 1v1 to isolate, doing what he does best, trying to get the game back in his favor, noticing that the pinch is coming through. Sleepy, he tried to oh. give him the call out that Solars was cutting back, but Rushies knows that Solars has damage on him, trying to creep up. Oh, he's going to connect with that one, but this is a big 1v1 for B. Mechanically speaking, Rushies has been very impressive throughout Mexico City this weekend, dominating every single time. He's been, in my mind, the difference maker for the Ghost game, the difference maker in the Optic Winter Bracket final mm -hmm. game, what he was able to do early on in those initial fights, securing those power weapons. He has just been that guy that they can rely on to remain consistent, which in this scenario is something that you're really gonna want to have on your side, the consistency. You don't want that fluctuation. You don't want the emotions to come into play. And Denial do a good job of keeping that in check. These two teams, though, man, this is a very different game from that winner bracket final. Optic Gaming looked a lot more poised than they once did. Rushy starting to push through the spine. He's going to have help from Sleepy. This is how you break a home hill setup on lift. You have to get control over your opponent's spine so you can pinch from two different angles. Looking like it's working out for Denial now. Rushy's trying to dodge that one shot, calling for reinforcements, but Optic once again. Holding down that position for the double home hill setup. They had, they were fortified great there. I also like the way that Optic dropped back when they needed to, recognizing that the Wolfpack push from Denial was going to come to fruition. So they just brought them into it. They allowed the, them to go into their Nashers. And now that leaves Rezik and Rushies, the last two players left alive. Rezik can go for a break, but he can't slide in. And Optic Gaming is going to go up by two. There you go. Optic Gaming getting the first two rounds in a row. Get him back to lift. One of their, uh, you know, one of their better map picks. Super talented on this one. J Ribs did say that if Optic Gaming want to be able to 
hold this one together. Lift is the map they need to win. If Denial want to end this one in two, Thanks. it all starts in game one. Yes, it does. I do agree with that one. Getting that momentum going into Forge is going to be huge for Denial. Because uh, Forge is auto gaming's uh, auto ban, right? They haven't played it all tournament. But on the flip end, it's one of Ghost Gaming's better maps uh, because of because of Rushy's owning that that button, that control room, utilizing those, utilizing those long range weapons like the sniper and the M bar. So we'll see when we get there. But the quick pick looking like it was trying to come in from denial. Franchise, great kill on Solars. A good way to open it up now. It's going to be from Franchise. Resig with the follow-up on Explosive. Two players for Optic Gaming are going to be out of the action. Another one down three. Count them three out for Optic now. Denial also have three up. In turn, Sleepy, though, takes out Mental, and they're going to have control of A and C, the home hills. And Denial coming to life. The Nashers, this is what you want to see. Icy getting that beautiful drop yeah. shot that he has put to you so many times and denial looking to put one on the board that's going to be solar's needed to get in there they go into the challenge oh here comes reinforcements Clearing out rushes. gaming looking to make a statement on his b hill looking to get back under their control resic 1v1 he's gonna oh! miss it explosives oh. takes those all day that's gonna be the double to save the round but is it enough gaming they did it. They did what they had to do, getting that B-Hill back. Now they're going to take their man advantage while, while they know that they have it, while the rest of these players are coming off respawn to get in these positions, to get towards the home hill of denial. But Optic Gaming still no points on the board. But they're playing for this trip cap domination. Yeah, at this point, this is really their only option. Explosive is going to need the support of his teammates. As he was very weak, he's going to be dealing with it. 2v1. Wow, he might clean. be able to win this. Another player's going to oh! create bomb explosives. He's now going to have the support, and he manages to stay alive. What a play out of explosives to just live there, but not only live, but pick up the kills, Blaze. You know, one thing about Denial when it comes down to these mid-round uh, mid setups is that, you know, if they have a point lead, it, it does them wonders uh, a few times during the round. So you're going to see these players come off respawn, and they're going to make be their new home hill. It was 100-0 to zero before Optic Gaming got any points. Denial might be able to win off one. I'm not even sure exactly, but they need to cap this hill and set up. At this point, I'm pretty sure all the coaches are doing the math, saying, okay, can we win off one? Do we have to push the homes? And I think they're recognizing that, hey, you know, still a lot of time to play. Let's try to work around and push Solars out of their spawn and see if we can get some pressure on one of these home hills. Yeah, it's very close. You don't want to make the, the wrong call yeah. there. With Optic Gaming up 2-0, to zero, it's just not a decision that you want to have made that could potentially be costly for you in the long run. Optic Gaming have A and C. They have the home hills. All, all, all Denial has to do is win run rotation. He just needs to decap one of these home hills and, and cause a, a lot of drama. But there's the boom shot pickup. My father, the drop shot pickup by Optic Gaming. And they're going to sit back because they might actually win off a of two. Optic Gaming being able to get that weapon away from Denial is massive. Uh, Every no. time that weapon is Optic in the hands. has to beat aggressors. So they have to do this. They have to push this. Yeah, they do. And they got four drops. And both teams are recognizing it now at the 170 mark that Denial can win off one. But they shouldn't turtle too much. Icy's going to be trapped on that side of the map. Here comes a drop shot. He's going to lead it. From He's going to catch him. Town. Where you running? Looking for another, but he doesn't get it quite yet. He still has two more left in the chamber for the drop shot. Boom! That's mental. He gets the shotgun kill onto Sleepy. They got to cap this out now. They and just... I like Summons' his play. He's just going to go for the home. He's got to cap this one, and that is going to be the stop. Nicely done. Optic Gaming go up by three. Denial got to find an answer here because Lip has been green this whole time. That was a beautiful start to the round for Optic Gaming. They had control throughout that entire map, locked a double home hill setup, got the drop shot, and just picked off Denial one by one. Curious to see what Denial. So if you put a sniper on maintenance, if you find yourself, that, that's a great play because Optic, they've been sticking to that home hill setup a lot. So yeah. if you find yourself in that position like Denial was in before, you got a sniper for, for Rezik or Rushies to work with. Also, you have a clear sight line on when that new drop shot's gonna get picked up. Denial has the map uh, set up pretty well. I kind of see what their strategy is going to be, but let's see if they can get this drop shot. That's what they need to focus on first. Explosives has been, Explosive has been a beast this game. Denial struggling to get anything going. Very, very different from 
the winner bracket final where denial were all over Optic Gaming. Mental's gonna get two kills on Franchise and Rushies. That starts things off nicely for Optic Gaming and Icy. They get the drop shot. Things are looking mighty fine here for the green wall as domination is starting in four seconds. Those respawns are only gonna get longer, but Resic saves the day ever so briefly though. Four seconds remaining. It's gonna be up to Franchise. The LMS here, does he get there? No. Nope. Optic Gaming once again in a row. Four. For they, lift. They got four maps to, to, uh, to do this on, but they're looking good. Four rounds in a row uh, is showing why they picked this map lift and, and why it is one of their best maps. They're making this look effortless. And also, take a look at the compo or I shouldn't say the composure, but the, uh, you know, the reactions yeah. from Optic, yeah, they, right? Yeah, they got a, it's, 28 rounds is a lot of rounds, okay? And that's not even counting it. And that's saying if you go, if but, you win four maps in a row. But they're laughing, you know, you, you got everyone smiling. Like, this is just a, a new optic game yeah, yeah, from they, Winter Finals, well, but they were silent. We'll see how they, how they start acting when they start losing rounds, right? That's true. If, that's if true. they lose rounds, but we'll, we'll see if they start acting when they start losing rounds. That's going to be the real test. Right now, though, it doesn't all, seem like that's going to be the They always look place. good when it's all fun and games and they're winning, right? Oh, they, very true. Look at this there. Praise. Team kills, as a matter of fact, with summons, though. Oh, the drop shot is down. Mental has great angles. Sleepy goes down. That's five members down. This is not looking denial. good. Not looking good for Denial whatsoever. Those respawns are going to take so long. Rushies is going to be the first player up. One second remaining, and that is going to be the fifth round for Optic Gaming. Now, let's go ahead and set the stage for the viewers at home. If Optic are able to win this best of three we then have to reset the bracket because yep. denial they have not been sent to that lower bracket because of that optic gaming need to win two best of threes in a row against denial mm -hmm. not an easy task when you talk about escalation gears of war how long these games take and furthermore how long that team has been up there playing they yep. went and they started the day they went up against denial they then had to go up against ghost it's been a roller coaster for the Green Wall. It really has been a roller coaster for these guys. Good angles for Sleepy. Denial gets the boom down. It's looking for a player to pre uh, press up and clean up that kill. Uh oh. They didn't see it get picked up. It's in the corner. It bounced off the back of the wall. Almost got that player, but here comes the pressure from Denial. But it looks like Optic Gaming is going to be in a good pos defensive position. That's drop in hand. Uh oh. That's right next to him. Sleepy can get that weapon. If he wants it, he wants to help his teammate out first. More, you can't die! More oh. important to be able to help his teammate, he felt like in that scenario. And the drop Summon. shot, he's calling it. Praise almost made that play there. He did. But drop shot's gonna be in the hand of Rushies, sure. and they're gonna have this C-Hill capped up. So a member of Optic Gaming is behind them, decapping their home hill. So that means Rushies probably gonna get flanked to his right, but you can kind of see on the X-ray cam that Optic Gaming are gonna slow this round down a little bit. They're gonna go towards B and set up. They also know it's a snipe on that side of the map. Icy's fighting by himself, and I think he did go down. Yes, he did. So at the B here, I, I do not know when that new snipe comes up, but we're going to have a little stalemate. Optic Gaming's going to wait till that gets there. Oh. And, and, and really think about it like this. Optic have to slow it down. Summons has it. He's looking at Rezik. Oh, explosive headshot on Franchise. It's going to have to push Rezik back, and Rezik's going to be very weak. That'll do it on Rezik. Rushies, though. Drop shot. Again, oh. Too low. Didn't hit anything out of that one, though. But Rushies, man, look at that movement. The way he was getting shot up, but he was still able to stay alive. Wow. Where you running? He's so good with that weapon. It happened in Winter Bracket Final. It's happening here. He started this He started the series off 2-12. and 12. In this round, he hasn't died. He has gotten three kills in a row. You're going to need that production out of him. Mintz is going to have to make the play, but that smoke's going to slow him down. For Icy, going Icy. for the kill. Fran. And Icy versus Mental, and Mental gets one, but he falls. Is this going to be Denial's first round win? No, it's going to be stopped. And they nah, get it. There it is, Denial. Get their round win. It stopped for a brief moment, but they were able to win it out. Getting that first one on main stage. Getting, getting, that, uh, getting, that, getting that pressure off of them. Getting that flow started. So, folks, it is going to be halftime, so those power weapons will be wiped off the map, and we will have a new set of heals. Also, respawn timer is going to be dropping down to 12 seconds. Optic Gaming came off great in that first half. So, typically in the second half, we still kind of see that same fight because that neutral hill goes over there towards that deck area. 
Uh, but no power weapons there now, so it's going to be a lighter fight, and both teams are going to kind of focus on capping their home hills, utilizing two to three players uh, to cap those dead zones and then spread out. And if Denial lose this round, it will be match point for Optic, but you got to think about what Denial's play is going to be, and they've been really loving that drop shot. It's worked out for them so many times. 3 Trade. 3 Kills are traded. Optic Gaming. They're going to have Praise down. He should be able to get back up. But I think, yeah, IC there for the cleanup. Good, smart smart play using that smoke as a smoke screen to try to clean up that kill. He did go down, but he will be safe. Now, Denial's trying to get Optic into a pinch. They're trying to control that entire deck area of the map. They're, they're, they're in a big fight. But it looks like Optic's going to come out on top of that one. So Optic with just one hill in their favor. They're starting to get map control. Yeah, Soldiers, he wants to try to force a 1v1. He said, if you're going to leave this, I'm going to go take this. That's yeah. fine with me. Might as well. Yeah. Rushy's going to have to deal with just uh, all members of Optic Gaming right in front of him. They decap that home, too. Which means Icy is going to get peppered as he crosses around. He's got 27% life left. And here comes the team Should cross. be able to. Uh, Rezik They're, is going to go down. But he, he's going to be able to tap up. Optic know that they can't get this guy. And if anybody had decided to run across the map, Icy would have lanced him up. This player would have tapped up in time, and Optic Gaming would have lost their two cap. Resident <laughs> Sleepy franchise <laughs> on this left side. And hey, you heard the character say, I'm getting my ass up. <laughs> you got to love the Gears uh, voice lines for each character. It's really good. It really is. But now. Look at the way that map was cut up, Blaze. And, that, and that's just perfect setup. Perfect two cap setup there for Optic Gaming. But here comes Denial on the offensive, trying to get this home hill. And these are some of the most difficult home hills to capture in uh, our Gears 4 Esports map rotation. Two players down for Optic Gaming. Denial looking to get their second round win. This will be big for them if they're able to do so. Franchise kills explosive, and that leaves two players, praise and mental, last two that are going to be left alive. Domination in a couple seconds. Is anyone there to break it? Mental jumps right into E. Does he win it out though? Icy's gonna be behind him. Mental, oh, Mental's gonna die there. Rezik and Icy still manage to stay alive. Icy can allow his teammate to, to go down there, but they're gonna try to hold down this E hill, get it capped up, and keep this two hill set up on the flip end. Soldier's gonna get aggressive, and I'm liking how he's running those home hills. He's always like, hey, if I don't see nobody, I'm gonna safely put that pressure on your home hill and try oh, to decap it. Well played there. Just dropping, uh, I believe that was Franchise. Ooh. Because on the corner of a Franchise still stays alive. Denial fighting back. They do not have the lead, and Optic has the two heal. But both teams keep trying to out-rotate. When Soldiers gets aggressive on, on Denial's home heal, somebody flings his. And they're just trying to decap and keep the points in a, uh, in a reasonable margin for them to be able to hold a two cap to win this round. Very close game here. Oh, this is the closest round we've had so far. Round seven, no power weapons on the map. 12 like, second respawn timers. Feel Bo like Denial woke up as well, Blaze. Yeah, they're starting to get in this one. But they're losing all heals at this point. When, at this at this point, where they actually still have the E heal. So they do have something to work with. And Sleepy's going to back up, not trying to get too patient. Two members follow from Optic. He's going to go for the decap. Even if he dies, this is exactly what Denial needs. 10 points left for Denial here, but it may not even matter if they get domination. They still have E. They're still going to be gaining points. Optic Gaming will have nothing gaining, and that is going to be the round. Denial managed to get two in a row. It has been rough for them so far, but it's nice to see this squad compose themselves and get themselves back into this. They've been waiting for a long time. You know, they had to watch that Optic versus Ghost series, and I think it was a, it might even been another series before that one, then the 2v2 final. So, Optic's been playing at all that time, and they've been warmed up. So, Denial's just trying to get in form and get into that same flow that they were in during the winter bracket finals. Didn't see what the weapon placement was, but we'll see in the start of this round, but 22 kills for explosives. Give them credit. Slammed. And yeah, they would say, hey, you guys got to come back and fight us at the deck, because we was beating you guys over there towards the whole uh, first half of this map. They want that fight again. Really, Denial on Slab looked like every single time on that initial, they had a plan. This time around, Denial kind of sort of, it, it could be wrong here, but it seems like they're they're flying by the seat of their pants here, right? Like, they're they're, they're really not trying to, to do anything all that crazy. They just are trying to grind it out and get the power weapons from Optic. Very different from the Winter Bracket Final when they were pretty much planned out. They stratted out completely against Optic, and Optic just did not have an answer. So I think when you get scrappy against Optic Gaming, this is where Optic thrive. Two kills now for Optic as Denial have a few. They're going to be going back to the respawn. Solars picks up drop shot. He's also got to get that neutral. 
E, which he does manage to obtain, Blaze, and they also have the coveted drop shot in their hands. Yes, they do. So Optic Gaming is in a great position. They have two heals. They have the drop shot. They have a player dead. Ooh. Now three drops, but they still have the kills in their favor. Optic Gaming is going to go to try to close this one out now, and they should be able to. And that's going to be match point for Optic Gaming, a critical map that they needed to win was lift. Game one sets that tone. If you're going to reset this bracket, you have to take this map, right? You can't go down again against the Nile. If you had any chances... Can't reset the bracket 01. I just... It'll be way too yeah, hard. Yeah, way too hard. That's way too much pressure on yourself. And not the gaming has had a lot of pressure on their shoulders on Championship Sunday. They didn't win a map till 5 p.m. <laughs> I know that tweet was... Uh a little spicy there, bud. What? What? Well, yeah, you know they used to come in a day, they smack somebody, go in the winners' finals, they kick it, they you know they kick back and they smack somebody again, and it's the reason why they've won what eight majors, eleven majors, more than that. Okay, they won every event this season, but one. They're that damn talented. But the quick pick from Rushies, Icy's with the protection. Praise moves right in there to try and exploit the fact that Rushies was going to be down and out, and that extra Nasher was not going to be available there. But Denial did manage to swarm around him. Even then, it was all for naught because they're losing so many players. Rushies, though, can he stabilize this? Can he bring this back? There goes the drop shot. Explosives and summons were the victims of that one. Two players for Optic, though, still standing. The question is, I think they're going to back it up. Their coach, Fatal Strike, is going to say, hey, come back, come back. We can't get it. Play safe. We're going to get our home heal, hold the two cap. We got about two drops to use as well. The play is in Optic's hands. Call the numbers. Find out where they're stacking their players. Because if we can figure out where they're stacking their players, we can figure out where their push is going to be, and we can rotate our drop shot over there to counter that. And if they're not careful, Optic Gaming, the drop shot will claim many victims. Has already done so in all of the games we've seen with these top teams. So I think Optic is trying to figure out where the drop shot's located, where it's going to be, the, where, where the opening's going to be. Because if the drop shot's going to be at the top of the map towards the deck side, Optic needs to flood the home hills ASAP and force some rotation. But if if Denial was smart, that drop would be at a central location, like the uh, like the, the middle stairs over there towards the dead zone, so they can watch it. But Rushies is rotating back quickly, and he's going to make a safe rotation. If Optic Gaming puts a single foot on that hill, Rushies is going to make it rain. You called it, Blaze. And if it ain't the drop shot that's going to take them out, it's going to be the Nashers from Denial. And that's four down. They rotated over, tried to get that home. It did not happen. And now Optic Gaming are in trouble. Five seconds remaining, and they are going to cap this. They know they have no chance to be able to come back. It's going to be 6-3. Optic, though, still has match point. That is Denial's strengths, and that's what makes them such a good opponent against Optic Gaming. They know how to have patience, take a breath, and sit back and strategize during mid-round mid and not make it so chaotic, right? Because some of these uh, amateur teams or lesser skilled teams that play Optic Gaming, they, they get baited into Optic. Optic just has their way with them. And then on top of that, then and sometimes they can't win the gunfights either. Uh, but they try to play and cause all this commotion, but Optic Gaming loves it. You got to use your brains when you're trying to beat this, this dynasty. 25, 20, 21, 21. Explosive summons, praise, mental. That's how many kills they have. They are out slaying denial so much. But even with match point, I am not afraid we've seen for one, denial. We've seen one six two come back today. Anything can happen. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not concerned about denial. This is still going to be the map that Optic they picked because they knew that they could win this one out. They gave free snipe to Summons on the other side of the map for Optic because they value that drop shot so much, Blaze. But Summons is going to have to hit some headshots. Rushy's going to kill Mental. Icy goes down in the back of his spawn, but he should be able to get up. Yeah, Summons. He's going to have to try to make a play. Let's see if he can find somebody. It's got to be the playmaker here for this team, but he's getting shot up oh, by Rezik. Yeah, Rezik needs to be careful because Summon's got a snapper. And they know exactly where he is. Oh, nice down there on Sleepy. Rushizo kills Solars. They follow up with another. Oh, the pressure. Look Rezik at that. Is, Rezik isn't going to give him no free shots. He says, hey, worry about me. He's not pushing him with the shotgun. All he's doing is just pushing summons away from everything. Being that, annoying. Yeah, being a pain in the neck being for him annoying. to deal with. Summons goes down. This that was so well played by Rezik. 
And, and so even if he has snipe, you can't run away from him. That's still your guy, right? Everybody has somebody they're responsible for. Ultimately, it's just coming down to figuring out, uh, you know, wh wh who who is that player in a given team fight in which you're fighting. Rezik knew Summons was his guy. That was his side of the map. He knew that he needed to cover that new sniper when it came up, so he stayed on him. It was basically man-on-man -man coverage there. What you would see in football, it's kind of the same thing what you would see here. I'll also, go to boy, new sniper in 10 seconds, and that's going to be at the maintenance area. New drop in 40. The power weapons always play such a key role. Summons wasn't able to do all that much with the long shot, but Rushies in, in denial have been putting the drop shot to work. You're not going to be able to get the new drop shot unless you throw a bunch of smokes on top of it. Uh, Optic Gaming is going to get a free sniper, and where that snipe is picked up on the side of the map where Praised is, he has a clear sight line to the drop shot pickup. He should be patient until his team is ready to make a push. The new drop shot spawns in 12 seconds. Both teams getting ready for it. Praise with the long shot. Eyes will certainly be on him if he's able to get a couple kills. Sleepy, though, follows up with one onto Solars. Mental's going to be in the scrap as well. Mental gets two as we hop on board to Mental's perspective. Rushies is going to be waiting around the corner, but he's going to get weakened about 27% there. Needs to stay alive and continue to put the pressure Ooh. onto Optic. That forces one player back. I think I just saw him get chunked for a lot of HP, but he still stays alive. Ooh. They're going to charge right Ooh. in. Rushies, he has Ooh. help. Finally, he's going to go down. Ooh. Summons is going to die, though, on in turn, and now Solars is going to charge Right Free in extending the round. Well played by Franchise, though. Rushy's still going to be alive. You got to kill him. You have to remove him from the equation. Rushy's is a savage. Ooh. He is the difference maker imagine? for denial. Yo, chat, imagine? I don't know, chat. Imagine? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Ooh. Six four. I don't know how I feel about this place. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what Optic wants to do. All the weapon placements in their favor. They can set it up perfectly. Okay, a little hammer burst on the other side of the map. That's something light. It's not going to play too big of a factor at this point in the game. It's still going to be that big four v four team fight. Rezik and Summons have one v ones on the other side of the map. That last round, Summons went automatically to pick up that snipe. He says, "Hey, I'm gonna make sure we can at least secure this weapon." They haven't done anything with it though. Like I maybe know, a but down at least they there. had something, and, and that snipe alone allowed uh, the round to be slowed down because Denial does not want to get too aggressive with that sniper in his hands. The quick pickup again. Oh, that person in the middle who's lancering is so key. Rushies gets the drop shot yet again, but Praise is going to get two kills there onto Franchise and Sleepy. Praise gets three oh, explosive gets Rushies, gaming. and that's going to be one player left alive. Rezik, he was a pain in the butt for summons to deal with last time, but now he's got to deal with all the members of Optic Gaming with all eyes on him. This could be the map. Optic yes, Gaming is. looking to bring this one back, and they're going to get it against Denial. Game one goes to the green wall. Yo, kudos to Praise and Explosive. Even after that drop shot from Rushies got all the way back, Rushies wants to go save his teammate, but Praise and Explosives kept the pressure, and they got it done. And look at the hype from the man from the Bronx, Praised, right now. As That's he, map one. He, of course, also has a little bit of a grudge against his former teammate in franchise. And wow, what a start from Optic Gaming. It's a long road ahead of them. My name is Fallout, joined here alongside Ribs to break the action down for you. And I am 286.04 pesos richer and about $15 wealthier as well. Thanks about what? The bet we made that it'd be 2-0. That 2-0? Who's you're, you're, winning? You're really, you're really, Who's, really yeah, 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 that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. For who? It's okay. No, 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 I, I said it wouldn't be 2-0. Oh, it wouldn't be 2-0. I digress. We'll talk about well, we'll, we'll you owe me 50. Take it from there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sort out the financials after the fact. All jokes aside, though, Fallout joint side. He's not going to sort out the financials. <laughs> Ribs, you had a chance to watch that entire thing. You've been in the grand final in Mexico City before. Sorry, you've been in two grand finals yes. in Mexico City before. What does Optic need to do to finish this off? And what were they doing so well here in map number one? Well, they started off 5-0. That's five rounds in a row. This is the first, one of the only times we've seen Optic coming out of losers finals and they're they're heated up. Yeah. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. Denial, you know, they had a little bit of a break. And right when Denial almost got a little bit of momentum, it was too late. Optic just had full control of that deck. It's way different than that furnace that furnace fight we yeah. saw on Slab. Obviously, Denial thought it might be the same. They tried to go for the quick picks. It wasn't really working. Also, I see we have front spawn and it wasn't Rushies. Rushies right. was in a two spot, yeah. but yeah. are the two and three spots a little bit faster on that map? Well, it's a matter of Icy kind of like pressuring them and getting in their yeah. face while oh. Rushies was supposed to grab the drop shot and get away. But the problem was the mid control yeah. that Optic had. And you said it a few times, that Lancer coming from the mid control. And a few times off stream earlier in the match, we saw a flank come out and a two piece coming out from Summons because mm -hmm. Rezik was going towards the B Street instead yep. of going to control. Oh. Yeah, Sorry yeah, about, yeah, yeah. about that a little bit. Two, two pieces of control that Optic had. One was deck side control or the east side hill. They were winning that fight and dominating the side of the map. Right. And then two, you just said it, control room as right. well. Obviously, 
the di big difference between slab, a map that denial one, and this map in lift is that center control room. Michael Shannon, the lead level designer for this map, is out there smiling right now. <laughs> How did Optic Gaming use that control room to their advantage? Who was it that was using it? And really, what was the advantage that they gained? So basically, when you're on slab and you go through the middle of the map, it's like a narrow hallway. So you can't just cross freely towards that middle furnace fight. You have yeah. to get in there. Meanwhile, when you're when you're on this map, lift, you could just go in right away across, or you could flank much quicker. And there was summons and explosive that were utilizing that way more than Resic and Sleepy Time were. Yeah, of course, summons would win that 1v1 and then rotate over. But of course, Optic Gaming is looking very, very strong. We'll have all sorts of time to talk about that one before we get into map number two. But before we do that, let's learn a little bit more about this Optic squad. The energy you go into this event with Optic, I feel like we're just very passionate and we still have that drive to win. And it, it just never dwells down or anything like that. And that's what keeps us going. To win this event and championship, I feel like we just have to play our game, just keep doing what we're doing. I feel like the competition is, isn't is as high as it was a few events ago. We're kind of like up there right now. I think the strongest thing about us is consistency. My favorite thing about Mexico outside Gears is probably like, honestly, their environment. Like, I don't know, I just like the people around and obviously the food's great here, so. I could speak Spanish. It would sound like I'm fluent in Spanish, but I don't know what I'm saying. So like, if you told me like a Spanish phrase, like I could repeat it and make it sound like I'm, I was literally born here, but I, like, I would not know what I was saying. We actually like do really well with the crowd, so we really want to like go positive in Mexico, especially since like Mexico is like the biggest fan base in Gears. So we definitely just want to like prove that we're the best, like no matter where we're at. And the crowd goes wild for Optic Gaming. Of course, Mental there featured in that video. Season one MVP for the Gears Pro Circuit here in Gears War 4. But you saw Mama Summons in there as well. She's in the house. We're about to be jumping into map number two. It's Forge Blitz. We talked about it in the map pick and bands. And truly, I think these map pick and bands are the most interesting and strategic we've seen yet in Gears Esports. Ribs, ultimately, what are your predictions here coming into the game two and in the grand finals? This is a franchise map. He's always loved this map ever since season, season one. And I think they Optic is going to find out right now why they shouldn't play against Denial on this map. I want to see Rushies warm up. I want to see Denial pick up this map and go to game three. Well, there you have it. Forge Blitz, of course, Denial's favorite map, self-proclaimed best map. Expect, I believe, Rushies and Icy to be playing that 2v2 up top. I'm not sure. It was Fran we'll and Icy. Yeah, I'm not honestly, I'm not sure. We're gonna it have was to find Fran out. and Icy. I know Fran yeah. had to take a step back mm -hmm. in this team to play a lot more in, like back back spawn spots, a lot more 1v1 spots. That'll oh, be yeah, interesting Fran? to see. Be. Key, uh, the keys to this map, keep an eye on the up top fight in the this control room for this map. There's a button up there you can press that turns on the incinerator on the other side of the map. Mm -hmm. Of course, Franchise, the captain of this denial squad, loves this map. He's been competing back since Gears of War 1 in 2006. Now at the age of 28 years old in Gears of War 4, he's still at it. He's still in the grand finals. Let's kick this off starting with Rushies in game two. All right, Golden Boy, we're hopping into map oh number boy. two, Forge Blitz. Optic Gaming came out swinging and left, took it in a dominant fashion, but Forge Blitz. Optic Gaming could reset the black bracket here. It's possible, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how, how on fire they're feeling like. Possible, but living in the world of reality, very, very difficult. Denial. They're going to open this. They, they want oh, to open this one up nicely, but it is actually going to be Optic Gaming that managed to take out three players there. Actually, four are going to be down now. Denial, they're going to be in a rough spot. Rush is going to have to go in there and, and actually deny that domination for a brief moment. And Optic Gaming is like we're getting a whole new team here. Three seconds remaining, but Rush is going to have that support now. And this is where did Optic Gaming commit a little too much. Rushies goes down, pick up that meat shield. They're gonna get these players staggering. More kills coming in favor of the cog, and that is gonna be Optic Gaming winning that first round one to zero. Did not expect that, Blaze. Optic Gaming came out swinging. Uh, they prioritized the kills down low. Something about the, the first round of this game too as well. Uh, there's no hills up top, but it's such an important fight up top. Uh, Optic Gaming said, hey, we're gonna be super aggressive on your home hill player. We're gonna be super aggressive at the players defending B, pick you off one by one, and that's exactly what they did. Oh, what a way to start. Summons, five kills for him. Explosive mental praise, all getting some on the board there. Solars don't matter because they got what was more critical, that first point victory. That kind of sets the tone here. Optic Gaming continuing from where they left off. But we're going to get this split they once gotta, again. They got to fight for Snipe now up top. You, you can't run away from that fight. So this is this is the uh, the meat and bones of Forge Blitz, so to speak. 2v2 fight, Rushies and Ices versus Mentals and Solars. 
and rushies. He's been a he's been a big factor for this team. I keep saying it, but I gotta hammer that home because of how good Rushies has been. That's why he's gonna be up there dealing with this fight for Rushies. He's gonna die. Icy gets the follow up there onto Mental. Icy's gonna be very weak and Solars continues to put more damage onto him with that Nasher and Icy continuing to linger about waiting for his help to come back. Oh, Icy's looking for his time. Solars is just, just trying to keep him hurt and Icy comes up the ramp, right hand advantage and strafes him, strafes him out and he's gonna get that, uh oh, da -da. Da -da -da -da. Now that Optic Gaming Praise have sneaking struggled. up on him. They've struggled to be able to get this initial and win this one out. Let's jump into an Astro listening with Optic Gaming. See how they're gonna come back into this one in the early game here. They're up one to zero. Three, three, there's three. Three, three, three. three, three, three. I'm already changing some the power. They're still here, they're still here. I just gonna come off Spooner. I'm going to Billy. I'm going to Billy. I got the sleepy. I got the sleepy. I got the sleepy. Watch out! Watch out! I'm gonna push this one. You're alone. You're alone. I'm already, I'm already. I'm with seven, 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 seven. Get back here. Get the guy. Get the guy. Done. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Starting yard. Starting yard. I'm gonna be. What's the beat? What's the beat? What's the beat? Full life. Four v two. I'm gonna race. Race. Tell him. Watch out, B. Watch out, B, boys. Okay. What's capping this? What's capping this? Wait, he's right here. I thought he got oh. oh, Billy. Oh, Billy. Still so here. Still so here. So here. Oh, I didn't get it. It's all good. It's all good. It's knife and dirty. It's all good. Point up top. <laughs> oh, baby. We got plenty of time. Look at the score. Okay, it's all good. All good. Look at the score. Yo, the all on top, bro. Oh, we. Oh, we. Oh, we. Fuck the hold. That's the hold. I think. I swear. I swear. Fuck the hold. They want to play to kill you, bro. They want to play to kill you, bro. I'm, I'm here, I'm here, Brian, I'm here, Brian, I'm here, Brian. There's one there, one there, pillars, one there on the fucking tractor shit uh, outside of security. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's play, let's play. I don't have a smoke, I don't have a smoke. I'm with you guys, I'm with you guys. I already went, I already went, I already went. He's already here on the hill. He's already cut, he's already cut. I already went, bro, I already went. Go, 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 go. Yo, he's sharp right, sharp right, sharp right, boys, sharp right. He's first right, first right, first right. The power, the power, the power. First right here, first right here, first right here. Big cut, guys, big cut, big cut, big cut. Got him, got him. Hurt me, cut, hurt me, cut. Hurt me, cut, hurt me, cut, hurt me, cut. Go yeah, Sniper, yes, Sniper, what you guys said? Sniper up top. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sniper up top. <laughs> Keep going forward, yes. R square, we're Sniper, R square. They're both here, baby. They're Rack him! Sion! Nice, he's down. Last on the hill, last on the hill. Get that break. I'll hold the meat for I'll too long, Sniper. <laughs> Swatting a two, I can help you, I'm swatting a two. Break dummy, break dummy. Yeah, get no, some no, kills. No, no, no. I'm coming to be, I'm coming to be, I'm coming to be. I'm coming to be, I'm red. For red, for red. Yo, we went up for two, we went up for two, we went up for two. Oh, uh, yeah, just I got a high altar. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm going back on. Two up, one's just fine. Yeah, I got this. We're actually good. We won, we won, we won. Ha ha! Oh, goodbye, goodbye. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's so 190. Just back, back row, Brian. Yeah, that Brian's down, Brian's down. They make it. They barely make it. No, 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 no. Guys, so altar. Yo. Imagine losing a map. Yo. Yo, it's getting scary. It's getting scary. It's getting scary, bro. Optic Gaming gets themselves a second round win, Blaze, and the comms were so clean, but also what I thought was funny was how sometimes, you know, when you're in that moment and yep. you're feeling really good and you're feeling happy about it, you can be a little presumptuous thinking that you're going to win it, but I'm glad that there are voices there saying, we're not out of this yet, yep. we have to hold this down, we got to wait until we get that second point on the board. Yep, there you go. And now... You're gonna see, and if Optic Gaming resets the bracket, it's gonna feel like, you know, a weight lifted off their shoulders, where at that point, it's just two more maps. And what but does Denial do with that, right? That, that's, that's really where things are, I think, gonna get real spicy, because Denial, they, they slapped Optic the last time they met, and now they're gonna be in this kind of predicament, not something that I think they, they believed in. They, they were so confident after that winner bracket final, one, as they should be. One thing about Denial is just their preparation, right? And their preparation on the fly. Yeah. I'm actually just as curious as you, go to Boy, because if they did lose these 2-0, I'm curious to see what the picks and bands are going to be. Maybe they go to Foundation, right? Maybe they get back there and, uh, you know, they, they ban Lift Out or something. Who knows? We'll see. Well, Denial, though, they're going to get their first point on the board, hopefully for them, and that is going to be Denial answering back after losing two straight. But they got to get themselves back in this game. Franchise, the IGL in-game leader, Fatal Strike, the coach, he's got to get them energetic, excited, happy. They need to keep their minds in this one. They know the pressure that they're under here, especially if they go down 2-0 and have to reset that bracket. Oh, secondaries, Marxes, retros, anything, blocks, oh, incinerator, nades? What, what, what y'all thinking right now? Hmm. They're gonna use this time, too, to talk. Blocks on the secondaries, okay. They don't want nothing extra. They don't want to give you no free weapons. That's that To me, that says that you're gonna earn that sniper, you're gonna earn that drop shot, and you're gonna earn whatever we put at incinerator, but 
We're not going to give you no free secondaries to, to allow you to fortify on your home hill and prevent these trip cap dominations. Here we go, round number four. Denial were able to win their thir the third round on Forge Blitz. Mm. Optic Gaming, traditionally a weak team on this Optic's map. Optic's not playing for snipe. They're, giving up, they're doing a free snipe. And they're bringing that extra guy towards mid-map and utilizing their numbers. And, and that I, was a beautiful start to the round. And Denial certainly just did not expect that there. And that is going to leave Icy to be by himself. He's going to go down five down now. Optic Gaming can end this round here. They just got to get bodies. They have to get someone to Turbine. That's going to be the Swarm spawn. You see there, two players for Denial come up. They need to end this, and it's so close. There goes the drop shot on some franchise. And Optic Gaming in round four are going to get their third point. Yeah, so the beauty about that round is that Optic sent two guys right away towards Incinerator, three guys directly praise. three guys directly to Boom Shot. They hit a quick 2v1 isolation at the Incinerator, brought those extra guys, had pretty much a 4v3, if not a 5v3, to get that drop, and picked off the remaining few players. During that round, Denial thought that somebody was going to go up top and play for that snipe. The proper move that Icy should have made if he didn't see nobody was just to lancer down and support his teammates on top of that drop, maybe even picking up that sniper and making some plays. Optic Gaming make adjustments, but now it's time for our next round. You Will can't Denial play for home hills. be able to answer back after dropping? Let's go into this listen-in. When we get an opportunity with Denial. Let me cut. Let me cut. Let me cut. I'm down, oh, Yachty. Still stunned. Oh, oh, he's dead. Fuck it. Come on. He's Pay attention. Who's right next to you right there? Bro, I said both of you guys, bro. I'm stunned. I'm stunned and I get a flyer. Like, bro, there's bullshit that both of you guys are stunned, bro. I'm, oh, I'm stunned. I'm literally stunned, bro. I swear to God. You're gonna fuck attention. Yo, how, how are they getting down, though? They smoke on me, literally. I played up the guy. I yo, we got it. Yo, me. listen, bro. <sighs> I don't want to keep fucking saying this shit, bro, but we got to stop being victims right now. We need to start pushing we, these fucking we, kids. We need to make a play, boys. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's fucking get it, bro. They're literally so comfortable, bro, because they're they're hitting every shot and lancing us out. We Let's need go. to be pushing them, bro. Let's make go, them bro. make them get kills. Do that. Rotate. Make them rotate faster and make them have to call out right. Let's play normal, bro. Play underpants. Let's go, bro. baby. Be careful with the lancing, bro. I for sure have one. Playing back again. They lancing. We have three middle. We have three middle. Pushing up on their side. Pushing up on their side. <laughs> I have two, I have two. You have two, you have two. Look, look, look. I got one, I got one, I got one. Shot, one shot, I'm, I'm on the pass, I'm on the pass. I'm on the pass, guys, I'm fighting one. On me, you guys. Go, oh, two on me. I got one. Shake it, shake it, My guy has incense. I cracked him, I cracked him. My guy's on top. 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 He's really hurt, baby. He's really hurt. I'm going to cap our hill. I'm going to cap our hill. Come on, come on, guys. Come on, guys. There's three dead. One on their hill, one on top. I get to the hill. Four dead. I'm going to cap this. Last one's on top. Yeah, last guy's on top right now. He got us. Where's he going, though? Where's he going? I'm going to go. Going our square. He's going to grab both. Okay, I'm going to grab you. I'm going to grab you. Grabbing both right now. Grabbing both. Push it. Push it. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. They have both, they have both. I can shoot him, Rush, I can shoot him, Rush. I can test him up top, I don't care. Rush, I can shoot him. Okay, I'm good now, man, I'm good now. I can test them both top, I don't care. I'm gonna drop the bones, got up top. Rush, get out of there. Yes, me. You gonna still look at me? I got two, I got two up top, fellas. Try to get a friend. Make cut, make cut, make cut, make cut, hurt, hurt. This one shot, one shot. I can't see him, I can't see him. There's another one trying to cross Fran from their line. Good one. Start wrapping right now. There's one fire, fire spot, fire spot. Incense up in 30. I'm holding their side. Two there, two there, fireplace. You're in a bad spot, friend. No, I'm I, good. I'm I, I, good. I, 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 Yo, he's, he's looking at me. Look at me. Fire window. Our fire window. They're gonna push up. They're gonna push up. They're gonna try to. They wanna angle you, friend. Push it up. They're gonna win. They're gonna win. They might win. They cut. Flying at you. Yeah, nice. Go for one go, shot. Go, literally. literally. Push it down. Go for it. Oh, oh, they're out. Sweet. Hey, are you good? One more shot. That's nice. We got it. He's a kind of long dance. You dead? He's a long dance. You dead? Got a fourth one. So, so is the third two. So let's go down. So let's work. Get your shoulders. Get your shoulders. So let's. Wait, I gotta flank that beat, bro. I didn't see that. No, get kills the one there's one B, there's one B. Last guy B, last guy B one on spawn. Last guy B one on spawn. Hands are up, drop shots on 30. I got a smoke, I got a smoke. I got a smoke, right now. Guys, we should be able to get B. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Let's go, boys, pick it up. I think he's on your line, I think he's on your line, I'm back in three, I'm back in three, bro, I'm back in three. He's on your right, Rush, literally, on your right, bro. You're gonna get cross from here, Rush. Oh, you're playing, we're playing home. Drop right? is up in 20, guys. Bow is up in 40. One's going up top. One's going up top. Yo, yeah, one's our line. They're going to play for a bow so that they Wait, can get angled. Which side of the line, bro? On your side, like right. On your right. That's... Yo, help my home. Help my home. Help is hurt. There's two here, two here. We should push them on the spawn. Drops up in five seconds, guys. They want it. Yo, they're going to get it. 
He's over here, Josh. Ryan, it's really hard, Josh. I can't see him, Ryan. Try to get angles on that drop. Pull red up, pull red. Drops on P. Yeah, get it Solar, 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 this drop. Watch out, baby. Hurt. Pull red. Make shot from up top. He has dropped it. They're doing, they're doing, they're doing, they're doing. I got dropped. Ah. Yo, guys, there's only one. Wow, and we came out of that one right as Franchise is trying to just tell everyone what they need to do. And it feels like there's just a communication breakdown that's happening with Denial Blaze. Mm -hmm -hmm. They got a long road ahead of themselves. They made this one that much harder. Because what happens is, is that as soon as Optic Gaming resets this series, the pressure is going to be on Denial. That's right. You know, they, they, Optic ain't even got to say nothing. It's like, oh, you guys had two free maps. Okay, what y'all going to do with them? Denial is really going to have to step back and refocus. And to top it off, they banned out Slab. And then, just when you thought that this was going to be a free one for Denial, it's actually Optic Gaming that are owning Forge Blitz. It's good to see that they put in the work to, to get better at this map. Clearly, it's something that they know that they either didn't want to deal with, but when they had to, they were ready. But well, at this point, this is going to come down to who can make the right adjustments, who, who can make the right rotations, who's going to start hitting shots. And as right now, Zopta Gaming doing everything right. Love Let's this see. angling here from Mental, too. He's playing around that wall. He's using that advantage that he has. And they're dropping back, utilizing Lancers when they need to. I love this cover fire that Mental's providing. He needs to be careful. He has a teammate there to help him out. And they're both going to die. Icy's going to actually be the one to pick that up. Now four players down for Optic Icy Gaming. Icy might go right for the home hill. Icy might go right for the home hill. So the, the E heal is going to go in favor of now. Here comes the rest of the Wolfpack. Trip cap domination coming through. Well played. Well played by Denial. Five oh. seconds though, Optic Gaming, they can answer back. They sent three players to F and they're able to clear them out. Icy has to be a little bit more patient, maybe back up there in that situation. You have help coming, your teammates are coming to, uh, to, to defend that home hill. But Denial, they, they found themselves in that pressure position at the start of this round and now they flip the table. So you're starting to also see in the second half how important that button control is when you do have that E control. The incinerator starts off, it's about 10 seconds. Uh, about 10 seconds total, those flames are coming down where that heal is blocked off. Now, in late game situations, those are free points. That's also why another reason why it's very important. But you can only press the button, I want to say, once every minute. Players are going to need to keep that timer in mind. You're going to rely on those coaches that have their back there. And we're continuing on. Just remember those respawns. They're shorter now. Optic Gaming coming off respawn, and now they know that they, they can't fight for E if they don't have the button control. So they have to send their resources towards that area of the map. And they're going to end up taking out IC and taking out Franchise. What Optic Gaming do in this position, they're going to start pushing through the spawn of Denial, start pushing through uh, those secondary weapon rooms and flanking this incinerator. They're going to need to deal with that. Get E back in their control. It's getting very close to the point of no return. If Denial still are able to hold this, working very hard around this, 185 and counting. Rushies lingering around the incinerator. No one's going to be top button. They got to they got to decap this, and they also need to take out the home as well, or else this is going to be a win for Denial, number two for them. Yeah. Last time they were able to, to start a nice run, and that's going to do it. No chance for Optic Gaming. Denial. This is like, you know, I mean, it happened a little differently yeah. last time in game one, but Denial were able to, to get this comeback going. It just happened a little too late. I fear that yeah. this could be the same thing here, Blaze. They got to five. No, it was about, I want to say they got to five, four. They got to six, four on that scoreboard. So Denial, they need to just not find themselves in such a hole early on. They really can't lose these next few rounds. But Optic Gaming, they said, hey, you know what? We actually like playing around this drop. You know, let, let, let's play it now. Since you guys like it so much and since we're beating it, Beating you guys at it, we want you to keep the same strategy. We don't want you guys to change much. They're hitting every shot as well in the initial fight. But look at the crowd here in Mexico City. So many people to watch Gears of War. It has been beautiful. It, it has been glorious. Been. 
it's been a, it's, it's been an amazing weekend. Indeed, it has, my friend. An amazing weekend, and also amazing for Rushies because he's always been that guy to go in there and pick up that drop shot. This time, though, Optic had his number, and they cleared him out as soon as he was able to get hands on that one. Icy, though, is going to be playing up above. And wait a minute! Oh, he's going to go in there and nail him with the drop shot. And the worst part about that blaze he got is it done, he though. saw it happen before his very eyes. There was nothing he could do to get out of that explosion radius. But he 100% extended the round by sacrificing his life to press that button. That allowed his team extra time to come off that respawn, but you're still gonna have to deal with the rest of these drops as well. Soldiers can probably more. bank one off that wall, but that's a high that's a high percentage shot. High IQ play. Yeah, but you know, it's too late for that one. You're gonna start to see Denial group up and get towards E. Solar's gonna shoot another drop. He's not gonna connect with that one. One more left. He's in a 1v1 fight over there towards that cut side of the map. Rushies is going to be very weak. Explosive gets two. Praise it gets another. Three players down for Denial. Rushies is going to be tucked in this corner. They can basically sneeze on him and he'll die. Instead, they're just going to chunk him with the shotgun. Resin down. This is going to put out the gaming at match point. They can reset the bracket. Two all against Denial in the grand finals. Look at Praise you know, relishing in the moment. One, another thing that Optic did that was great, too, is that they're whooping, like, they're beating up Denial quick. Like seven two, like right now it's currently six two. Yeah. It was it, like six two, six three. Like if it's you not close if you, games, they're whooping them. Yeah, like you got to get this first series out quickly. Yeah. If this one draw like drew out to like map number three, and then you had another one, that would have been very very taxing on Optic Gaming. That's a lot of gears of war in one day. But these two quick maps is working out for them, and now it's all fun and games for these guys. And when it's all fun and games, that's is when that's when Optic Gaming is at their best. Explosives cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, a character. Him and Praise on the same team. <laughs> but that's that's uh, a strength to that combination, right? Yeah. If they're winning, the two of them will not let you ever feel down. The two of them with their just momentum and energy alone will keep your team in this game, if not make you steamroll everybody you play. One of the best players in Gears 4, Explosive, on your screen. He has a couple members of Denial that are going to be right in front of him. The smoke is going to clear, and here he goes on the move now. But he doesn't have his teammates that are going to be around him. Resin's going to go down. The drop shot's going to be in the hands of one of the members of Denial. I believe that's going to be Rushies, who did manage to get that out of there. But Explosives finally, finally gets wiped out. Summits, last player left alive now. He's going to have to deal with the might of Denial. Ooh, that and was it's going to be Sleepy, who hits him with the good old-fashioned GTS. The marks of close range. That was, <laughs> that was that's a rare thing to do. But here we go. You're gonna have Optic Gaming. They're looking like they want to get towards C. They want to control this button, and uh, the button's gonna get pressed. But now capped it before Optic Gaming was able to get up the top. So Denial's gonna have control over the E hill and the home hill. Optic Gaming stacking their numbers. Denial's next play is gonna be to regain control over button. Playing up top, franchise right in front of Solars. It's also going to be Icy working with him. They're going to push them out of here, go back to their home, back into their hole from whence they came. Yep. And so Denial, at this point, they're going to say, hey, let's back up a little bit more. Rushies has some drops for us to utilize. It's a two-hill advantage. There's no other power weapons on the map. Uh, I'll take that back. You do have the Marxes in hand. Those, spawn, they, those have a, a one minute and 30 second respawn timer. Drop shot has a two. And Even though they're on the secondary roll, they're so strong. And the new marks has just came up. We kind of heard them in the background. And yeah, the dual spots on maps like these are super powerful. A uh, new drop shot comes up in under 30 seconds, so both teams is going to be playing for this next. And explosive with the Marksa on Harbor. He was, he, he was just unbelievable with that weapon. Maybe he can find that same kind of luck here. Ooh, but he's, he's getting peppered up big time. He's got a bail out of this one. Teammate's going to be there for the pickup, so explosive recognizing that there was just way too much cover fire, way too much pressure being applied. But this high ground control, they still continue to hold the button up top. They just can't seem to get anything as far as securing that. And that was a marks uh, of their own from yeah, Sleepy, who has the eyes on him. And, and Sleepy's going to be following Explosives, just trying to keep his uh, his sight lines well, away from his dead. teams. But Explosives has the right angles, right? This is where you want to be with that, Marks. Uh, looking over the map, you got the drop shot right in front of you. Nobody's going to be able to pick that one up. At this point, Explosives calling out for the rest of his teammates, say, hey, we got a free drop here, boys. Come get it. Ooh. Look at the, the shots. This is why he's one of the best with that weapon with these secondaries. Even if he gets just a few shots on these players to allow his teammates something, 
they're counting the shots of the clip. <laughs> and so what Rushies did there, he's dancing, he's ducking, he's dodging, and he's like, all right, how many are you gonna shoot? He knows that there's only a finite amount of ammo left in that gun. Rushies gets the drop shot again, and we're at 198 and counting. This is gonna be Denial getting the third round win. Optic Gaming still at match point. They got to get themselves back into this one. They need to take this to Old Town. You know, I'm, I'm fully convinced that we're going to reset this bracket. But if Denial can make this comeback, they can win Old Town. Taking that momentum into Old Town when Optic Gaming's at match point, putting them to lose that, that's going to lose. All, that's going to deflate the momentum from Optic Gaming on that side. So going to turn those uh, those smiles into frowns it real really quick is. for uh, explosive and praise. So now Optic Gaming is going to put a power weapon up top of the control room. We saw Explosive just kind of living up there that last round. This time, if Optic Gaming does get that, that button control, they will have a power weapon to uh, fight for and have a power weapon to control. Torpo. It's just a beautiful weapon. Map's looking spicy. It's a lot of toys to play with up here. It's going to be Icy Mental. Drops the smoke and the stun that's going to be right next to that. This is a key 1v. Who controls this? Controls E and a button. Big fight here. Torque bows up for grabs. Oh, Icy hit him with that brick. And that's why Mental's running. He's kind of weak. He's going to get his health back. Ooh. Oh, he's going to be at Ooh. 72%. Icy's going to be at 27. He's going to be weaker. And he's also losing his teammates. They're going to get in there and try and get that button down. I don't I don't agree with that play. I think Icy could have survived. But actually, you know what? It might That was the right play. Because even if he did not press that button, they would have got trip cap dominated there. This is it for the round. But Resnick's going to get inside. Two seconds off the gaming. They're gonna end it here. Oh, they no. gotta end it here. The hills decap. But Solars, he's been just destroying them with this drop shot. Five seconds remaining. Are we gonna get the reset? Player gets in there, five seconds left, and that is it. Optic Gaming have reset the bracket versus Denial. We are going to a second. Best of three. Hey, I, I said it would be done in an hour and a half, but you know, and that's still true. <laughs> Take it, out, no. take it out of your 50 here. Nah, what you confused about? Oh, okay. Did, mm -hmm. I, let him know. He's letting him know. Ash is trying to keep him. Get the job done, Paul. <laughs> Our last two maps are about to be wild. Our last two maps are about to be wild. After that interaction, the Nile's going to walk off, talk this one out. You know, regain control. Optic Gaming on cloud nine right now. Undoubtedly, wow. what a first series it was. And oh boy, does this set us up for a great second series. Fallout here, here, joined with Ribs, Golden Boy, and Guy Blaze. And man, what a tremendous match and tournament it's been so far. It continues to sound scripted, but we swear to God, it is not. That's how amazing and unbelievable of an event it's been so far. Optic Gaming does it for the second time in history now. They reset the bracket after coming through the loser's bracket final. But will we see history repeat itself? I just want to say something. Will Denial close it out? I just want to say something. I said this. I said after <laughs> we're going to reset the bracket. True. You did say that. You, you pointed that out. All you guys, of all, all people you, go. I'm sure they would get back reset too, but I thought they'd get Forge. I thought they'd get Forge thought, at least. I thought they would at least get Forge. But this is not the same Denial. They, came out, they came out super flat. And then yeah. Ryan, yeah. Super Fools, flat. Ryan Fools predicted Optic first, Denial second, goes third. So clearly our talent team's crushing it this weekend, man. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. He said Optic first, goes second, and third place will be Ghost first. Optic first, Denial second, goes third. I'm just saying, I'm planting the seed for my Why didn't you give me that for that, though? Because you assembled the talent team. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll give you some dap on that one. There you go. There you go. There you go. I'll give you some dap. Why'd you give me dap? Yeah, but he's still, he's still not going to give you the $15. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's, here's your 15 bucks. Boom, take five. But man, it's been an amazing event so far. We really are like, I know the Super Bowl's going on right now, but this is like the NBA TNT desk. Uh, I really want my Patriots to win. I'm happy. I, and I'm, I'm, I'm not happy, but I'm actually kind of sad oh, I can't watch that it. That actually causes a big problem because I hate the Patriots. Same. Hey, well, I love well, you. We're in New so York. My love to you. I love Patriots you too. too, brother. Two to two on this desk. So what the, what is well, going on grandson. here? You know what it is, Golden Boy? We're from New York. We naturally have to be The Rams don't deserve to be there. And me and John are from Chicago, and that's why we both probably love the Patriots. Let's talk about some dang deals. War, please. Yeah. I, I got to hear. I, I think I know what the key problem is. Yeah. Uh, Optic adapted on, on a very large scale. Gilbert said it, uh, Explosive said it in the interview. We're not going to let them win any more in initials. And yeah. how were they winning initials? Rush, he's getting quick picks and not dying with the weapon. Yeah. He didn't do that at all that, that whole set. Yeah. He really wasn't doing anything. That his was his slam strength. power wasn't there at yep. all. And those maps, 
and I thought they were in denial's favor, but for some reason they were just so flat on yeah. four. And you know what? I think at this point it's just all about who's hitting shots. I don't right. think it, I, don't, I don't even think the Here's maps really matter at this point. Right. Mm. Yeah, at the end of the day, one thing that was interesting. I know you guys heard it, but well, maybe you didn't hear it. But I know a lot of us heard it. That listen and told the tale of what's going on with Denial right now. Icy break, yeah, break it down. is Infighting. clearly the X factor right now. He's in his own head. Blaze, I don't think you had a chance to hear it. Not I hear it. But Icy was up top. I, I don't know if y'all heard it at home either. I, I was talking to folks in the venue. They didn't. Icy was up top in a one versus one against Mental. His team won the fight down low. They had a numbers advantage. There's no reason for Icy to fight that 1v1 in that situation, or at least maybe entertain it, but not to fight it. He loses the 1v1 to Mental. It's not the fact that he fought it. It's his reaction to that situation. He says to himself, he starts saying and clearing up or, or uh, focusing the comms on, oh my God, this kid got lucky. I hit him with a headshot. I mean, next thing you know, you just can tell yeah. he's in his own head with his comms. And, and I see the type of person he's so proud in 1v1s. He prided himself in being the one that turned around Optic. He prided himself in being a great 1v1 player and beating Optic in 1v1s. He's taking a lot of unnecessary 1v1s. We saw it on Slab in the winner's bracket final. Mm. And you said you saw it in his gameplay. What do you mean by that? Well, he was just a little hesitant. There was one time he flanked and he had a shotgun out. He pulled out his Lancer. The Lancer wasn't even reloaded. These are like small mental errors. And you could tell optics in his head right now. Yeah, that's yeah. for sure. And listen, Icy, at the end of the day, if y'all don't know Icy personally, he is one of the most hardworking, respected, respectful, and deserving individuals. The man yeah. is, is an amazing, amazing professional, and, that's for sure. But right I, now, you got to get out of, your, out of your own head. I don't want to take, Eric, because Icy's incredible. These players, all five players, the coaches as well, yep. they're all incredible. So this isn't meant to, like, take yep. anything away from sure. them. But it's everyone's fault until it's not, right? That's kind of like a, a problem that a lot of players oftentimes deal with. I remember speaking with my friend Moses, actually, from Counter-Strike, and he was telling me about how a lot of teams, like, they oftentimes they think about and Sean Gares too he was the one who said this as well uh, he was like players oftentimes when their game they're like oh we would have won if it would have just went like this for me and it's yeah. like but that you can't analyze exactly. that you yeah. can't break that down there's no actual value out of that and Ooh. then when that bleeds into your comms you heard and that right and yeah yeah and when your teammates are hearing that too just it, it, it creates this kind of uh this environment atmosphere, yeah. Yeah, this environment and he literally said atmosphere it for, that is very negative he literally said it for like seven seconds he was going on until one of his right. teammates had to literally address it and say icy don't worry about it man and on to the next one so again yeah. Yeah, a very negative energy you feel right there and if, right now if i'm fatal strike if i'm franchise the leaders of this team i'm taking a deep deep break a breath and i'm pulling icy aside and saying look we need to reset our mentality. Yeah. We're going to put our pride aside, leave our ego at the door. We are the better team. We know we can do it. Let's approach this second series differently. Man, what a series it's been so far. It's all come, it all comes down to this. This is it. This is where Fatal Strike earns his check, right? Yeah. This is this is where, you know, granted, he does a lot of stuff behind the scenes, but if, if, if Denial is able to regroup, come back, and he's able to get all these players focused, you might as well just hand him the MVP trophy. <laughs> Very true. Do. It's, 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 it's going to be a hard task. Is. That's why I said that you might as well hand it to him yeah. if they are able to do this. Let's, let's talk about something that different, though. We're, we're focusing on denial, what's not going so well. Ribs, talk to me about what's working so well for Optic Gaming here in the series. Well, they're angry, and now they're <laughs> now they're playing well. And, and a player like Prey is so, so yeah. emotional. You played to them for three years, two years. Yes, and, and they, they had to go and look at the look at them on the, on the stage because it looked like they were about to run over there and like fight with the denial. That's just the tenacity that they bring, and I, denial's not bringing that same tenacity. And they tenacity. bring that energy in a game, too. Yes. They translate that same energy in game, and that's actually something that makes praise and explosives so great. And then you got the crowd as the third trifecta to that, yeah. man. It's a hurricane. But it's all nice stop. until it's not. Remember the winter bracket final. That was a different optic gaming team. They look like they look like their dog just died. It's all fun and games until you get your ass kicked. <laughs> exactly, exactly, man. I tell you, but the players they're getting their break. They're getting warmed up. I mean, shh, I need a break. <laughs> 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 and Ribs and I will take over this one. Gold Mike, you take over as host, Blaze Analyst. I think you guys can do it. I can do it. Cool. Do. We're ready to go then. I just, I just have some tacos. <laughs> I can we get some tacos, tacos delivered to this desk, man. This is a, we're, we're in it for the stretch here. 8 p.m. right now in Mexico City, and man, not one seat has been left or unfilled. Yeah. Of course, if you're enjoying the action right now at much, home, spread the word about this event. I'm curious how much time we're going to have on our intermission between both these two teams. So we're starting to see some of these players come back on the main stage now. Optic Gaming starting to get locked and loaded and set up into their station. Paul's going to bring him out first. Now he's going to stay in the middle, and here comes Denial. Yep, well, there you have it. And here we go. We're going to jump to a quick break. When we come back, some more Gears of War action.
<gasps> what are you doing in my fridge, Commander Jackson? You gotta step it up, Terry Crews! The enemy should never see you come! You gotta! You gotta! You gotta what get the, the jump on him, Crews! Get out of my gym bag! <laughs> oh, I see how it is, okay? Seriously? Again with the car keys? You know, you don't have to help. Interact with your favorite streamers on Mixer. At Xbox, we have a controller design that our fans love. However, for gamers with limited mobility or gamers who don't use both their hands, this controller design might not work best for them. Oh, I pushed you out of the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> Doorknobs are the worst thing ever invented putting on shoes, the cell phones that I use. These are the sorts of things that we don't think about until we have to, and I think about them every day. Yeah! I have cerebral palsy on my entire right side. This side of the controller is fine. This side doesn't happen. As game platforms have gotten more sophisticated, the controllers have gotten more sophisticated, and it started to get really frustrating. Oh, no! We designed the Xbox Adaptive Controller through feedback from the accessibility community. The Xbox Adaptive Controller is really easy. You just plug it in and then you can plug in various other devices. I can make it work for me the way it has to. With the Xbox Adaptive Controller, a gamer can game with one hand and one foot, or one hand and their shoulder, or even one foot and their chin. And I can change it from game to game. <laughs> Good, ready? Forward, squeeze tall, there it is. Craig Hospital is a facility for patients who've either had a spinal cord injury or a traumatic brain injury, and it's a place for their rehab. Yes. We're here for game night, and we're helping new patients uh, getting back into gaming again. Is that the D-pad? Yeah. Okay. Our role as occupational therapists is to get people back to doing. When the Xbox Adaptive Controller came along, it acted like an Xbox controller and it just worked. Uh-oh, over there. <laughs> Ooh. On the standard Xbox controller, it's just hard to press the buttons because I can't really put pressure through my hands. But then with the Adaptive Controller, I can use like larger joysticks, larger buttons that are easier to press and reach. Corey and his brother Zachary are twins. Before Corey's injury, Zachary had gamed with him regularly, and that was a way that they related to each other as siblings. Who do you love playing Xbox with here at Craig Hospital? Zach. The Xbox Adaptive Controller and the Co-Pilot feature allowed them again to play games together. So there's a huge social component to it. You got that. Yes, yes. Huh. They can play any game that they want. I see the confidence just burst out of them.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gears Pro Circuit, Mexico Ooh. City, where the action has been hot all day long. Fallout here, your desk host for the finals. Of course, alongside Ribs, former champion in Gears of War, Golden Boy, and Guy Blaze himself. And man, what a series it has been so far. We are getting ready to go into our second grand final series. Of course, Optic Gaming coming from the loser's yeah. bracket. They do it again, the same thing they did in London in season one. They reset the bracket. That time it was against E United and Icy. This time yeah. against Denial and Icy. I'm, I'm glad we had that break because Blaze was able to get his coffee. That's you important. Know? <laughs> I can, you know, I can just tell you. <laughs> I was going for it. I was planning in my head how I was going to grab it, and then you I, called me out I on was, it. I wasn't going to let you live that one down, I, I was hoping that John was going to throw a question to Ribs, and so I was going to sneak it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He got his coffee, though, guys. He's okay. He's going to be fine. We're He's great. Ready for this game. I'm ready to get this ready. one popping off, I'm man. I'm like, elevate sickness here. I got a million things of water. I'm ready to go. Ready to Yo, Ribs, it. let's ribs. talk about this map cycle, though. Say the same thing. Sure. Yeah, how about the map? So the map pick and ban was a little bit different this time around. Right. Optic Gaming ops for lift. Once again, same exact first map, but the last two maps will be different. Old Town will be map number two. That was originally sure. map three. Right. And game three, if it does come to it, will be on Dam. Your thoughts on the map picks and bans this time around? Well, Denial's getting the last two map picks, and if you're wondering why they're playing Lift again, it's because they don't want to play against Optic on Foundation. So they, they're, they're afraid on Optic and, uh, on Foundation. This time they're picking Old Town. I, I, don't, I feel like they're not in their element anymore. Yeah. I really hope that Fatal gave them some type of pep talk and Fran kind of, you know, gathered the troops. And we'll have to wait and to see, see the gameplay because they just came out so well, flying. You know what? I, I was going to say, I think Lyft is a great one to start out, too, just because the fact is the back and forth. They've already seen what Optic Gaming can do. So they do come out a win. It shows that they made those adjustments in the back. Okay. Yeah. And I think I'm wondering if Optic Gaming have, you know, if they're going to play their game plan the way it is. But did Denial create a new game plan do they have a solution for optic gaming to end it here to get that first win that's going to be big for them that's the important thing of course a game plan but also just mental fortitude what type of mental toughness will this denial squad show after getting really embarrassed here in the first series you yeah, really want to sit denial see denial hit the reset button and refresh here for series number two we talked a lot about icy of course it's not all on icy he is a tremendous individual player it's on the entire squad i'm excited to hopefully do some more listenings here to see if you have a different approach yeah well we're definitely going to have more listeners, John, because I think the game's starting. Indeed it is. Let's get to it. Map number one of series number two is Lift. Golden Boy and Blaze, take it away. Thank you so much, Fallout. Thank you so much, Ribs. Here we go. The reset from Optic Gaming. They won the first best of three. Yes. Now they got to do it again. And with the way Optic have been playing, I believe they have the capability to do just that. Man, Golden Boy, when we saw this map the first time, it was, it was Optic Gaming controlling the home hill side of the map, controlling A, controlling C, keeping that pressure, and Denial wasn't really able to do much of anything. But towards the end of this map, Denial started to heat up and figure out what Optic Gaming was doing. But, they, but by the end, it was a little bit too little, too late. We'll see if they can make the adjustment to come out to a hotter start. A, a hotter start early on. Well, three players down, and another one's actually going to be down, but not out quite yet. That's Franchise there. Sleepy It's going to be the LMS looking to stay alive. Five seconds before Domination comes into effect now. Three seconds, two seconds, they're going to stop them, and the, the Domination is stopped. Just for a brief moment, Denial, they're going to get a brief moment of respite, though, but all the kills going to come in for Optic Gaming. They're trying to come through and get them now. Rush, he's putting some pressure, was not able to clean up that down. Optic Gaming is about to start wolf packing on the Nile over here towards these game rooms, and they're going to get one. Icy's going to be stunned. He's going to be picked off soon, and he's going to fall. So that's two members down on the side of Denial. Trip cap domination coming through. You see, in these situations, Optic Gaming will push you in your spine and make it so annoying for you. Rushy's going to get marked 1v1. Rushy's versus Solars, and he's going to go down. But I think Franchise is going to get flanked. Uh, he's not going to make it in time. Optic Gaming round number one. They staggered those respawns so well, they Blaze. Did. And look at Praise. Oh. He's getting over there. He's saying, I, hey, I relips. He said, it's over. That was just round one. It's over? Nah, nah it, it, it has to start now. But Optic Gaming, I don't blame them for feeling that way. They smacked up Denial in the first series, and you can't take that away from them. And Optic Gaming firing off on all cylinders. This is their one of their greatest challenges all season long. They haven't been back in the loser's bracket since season one. But they're showing how resilient they are and how dominant this roster is. On the weapon selection, we have Denial. My question is, what do they want to go for, for first? 
You know, and they're going to just go for the blocks right away. They say, hey, you know what? We had a lot of issues over there towards that deck area of the map. Do we really want to go for that just yet? They're, at this point, they kind of want to fill out the gaming out just a little bit more. They want to fight over there at the B side. They want to see where can their strengths lie on this map. So the break coming out. It's going to be a 3-2 break. So same thing. Two players capping up the home hills, and they're going to play a 2v2 fight on that area of the map. And then on the B side, 3v3, one player usually takes control over the deck. But now, 3v3 fight on top of the hill, and Optic Gaming simultaneously shooting both Rushies and Icy. Here comes the rotation from Fran, trying to just get back to his home hill and keep something for the team. Just the way that they were able to push in together there. Nicely done from Optic Gaming. Three down now. Sleepy's going to be down as oh. well. They only lost Mental in that exchange. Explosive. He's had such a game thus far in the Grand Finals. This has just been uh, Optic Gaming. I, I, I have to d discuss the, the, yeah, really the mental strain that this has to be, uh, that this has to go on uh, for uh, Optic Gaming, who I believe they will be up one to zero here. Yeah, it, um, it, yeah, they're one zero on maps, one zero on rounds currently. Yeah, we'll have to get that uh, corrected there in the graphic up above. But I, you know, you're coming to this map. That was just a very, just a difficult map for you to play Optic on, and you're gonna have to do it again. Yeah. It's, it's tough. It's a tough way to start this one out. Domination once again. Optic Gaming, they get their second. That's gonna be Rushies back they to got the respawn, it. and they got it. That is gonna be two for Optic. Uh, yeah, this is a must win map for Denial. They lose this map, it is over. This is a must win map. Optic Gaming getting three in a row. Now, granted, Denial, you know, at that point, their backs will really be up against the wall. Now, if they haven't woken up after losing one series, after losing a first map in a second series, they got to get something going. But so far, it's Optic Gaming living in their heads. And actually, Denial might be in their own heads as well. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt, man. Yeah. Without a doubt. You, like I said, you're going to this map that you played in, in, in the first match here. You were so hyped up. You were yep. so excited. You were so confident. You lose it. Then you're like, oh, okay, no, 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 no. Surely we're going to get them on Forge Blitz because they're not that good on Forge Blitz. Then you lose Forge Blitz. You get you get swept in the first in first the first time half. First time, play Forge Blitz, Forge Blitz all weekend as well. And first time, and they win it. Now, what are you thinking? What are you thinking in your mind if you're denial? You had Fallout and, and Ribs talking yep. about that fatal strike. He's going to have to bring them out of this one. You He's mentioned gonna that have too. To. And I just don't know if even the motivational speeches from Fatal Strike will be enough with the way that Optic Gaming are playing right now. But I cannot, for the life of me, count out Denial. I refuse to. I, I this think, team I, is so good. And, and I feel the same way. Denial has to just slow this one down. They've got to pull out those Lancers, slow it down. Yeah, get those shots in, those long range shots. Have, have your teammates help you out. Like Resic right there in that situation, if he would have just pulled out his Lancer and Lancer those two players in the corner, that would have been a better play. But the drop shot is going to be in the hands of Denial. They got a few players down towards middle. They're going to lose Rushies, but they're going to even the odds with Summons. I think that was a drop shot on the ground right there as well. Both teams fighting for that. You just need somebody to, to be the catalyst, to be the one that's going to get it going, to step it up for Denial. And if they're able to get that, that could be the, they could be the harbinger of success for the Wolf Pack. Icy, Sleepy, managed to take out Mental and Explosives. That's going to give them the man advantage. They got to press their advantages. They got to take advantage of this one. The franchise gets the kill onto Praise with the drop shot. And I kept saying the word advantage. It's all about that. You need to capitalize on those plays. Yep, you definitely do. Because Optic Gaming is going to give you very little advantages, as Denial has learned over these last two maps. So you got to make the best out of whatever they give you. Currently, Denial is going to have a home hill set up. Fran still hit a few drops. He's going to be able to connect with one. He's going to have another 1v1, but Mental was not having that one. Man advantage in favor of Optic Gaming. New drop shot as well is going to be up in about a minute. Players are going to have to set up around that. They know, but the domination, five seconds, they got to make a move. You're going to have two players that are going to be tucked all the way up here. They can't get out of this one. They need someone and to push, but Optic Gaming will get three, and the good times roll on for the green wall. Optic Gaming is at home. They pinned him. They pinned him all the way up. Another, another start, bad start for Rushies. He's 0-8 to start this one off in three rounds. When he started the last lift map off as well, he was about 2-12 and 12 when I checked him about three rounds in as well. Rushies was one of the main reasons why they were so successful against this Optic Gaming team the first time. But maybe these maps aren't working out for him as well as they was beforehand. Something I'm also noticing too, when he's getting his drop shot, 
he's not backing up further enough uh, to really get to really utilize it when he gets those quick picks. Optic Gaming is not allowing him to get away. It's not the same drop shot play that we saw on Slab. That was that was calculated, calculated approaches. They just don't have a plan. And, and because Optic get this first pick on lift, it's rattling denial. Yeah. And, and it was also, uh, you know, well, Harbor too, he really didn't have to do it. It, it really was slab. And, and Optic started banning that one out. And they said, all right, cool. You, you guys don't got that map. Let's see what you can come up with on the fly on the rest of these maps and uh, contend with us on some of our better ones like Lift and Forge. Well, I'm sorry, not Forge, but, you know, Lift and Harbor. But you, you say you got to stop yourself yeah. from saying Forge. Because <laughs> they got their butts kicked on the last one, but that's uh, Optic's auto ban. <laughs> but it's an auto ban, and they still won. You know it's Optic's auto ban. Everyone knows it's Optic's auto ban, and you still lost it. Denial. They need to pick themselves up. Summons now has a sniper. Ooh, <laughs> just missed it. Uh, swing and a miss from Summons. Icy and Sleepy remove explosive and praise out of the equation, and that's going to leave Summons and Mental, the last two players left alive here. And Mental's on the move. Rushy's you just saw him charge right at Rushy's there. Five seconds, though. Do they have anyone? Mental, Mental. got a double. He <laughs> killed Rushy's and Sleepy at the Sea Hill. Now Summons gets one. He's looking for two. And Summers know that he got a brick in. He wants to stay on this player. Yep, there you go. Keeps that pressure on him. He had the help. Five members down, though. Not quite yet. We go over to Optic's uh, faces and their reactions, but there's still going to be a couple seconds left. Any breaks? No. no. It will be Optic once again. Four, oh, four rounds in a row, oh. just like last time on this map. Praise <laughs> keeps saying it's over. They're never going to let Denial let this one down. I want to see Denial's face. Look at that. This is the Denial had everything set up to beat this Optic Gaming roster. All the pieces. They had the maps that they wanted. They beat them in the winter bracket finals. They had the momentum. And somehow it just all slipped away <laughs> and, one and, round at a time. And, and I wish that I could understand it. But it's, it's, sometimes, all, it's all mental. Yeah, but sometimes, right? Like, and, and, and I mean that both ways. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes it really is in your head. I know it's it's a, it's a an intangible. It's something that a lot of people, when you hear commentators talk about yep. it, you're like, oh, you're just talking out of your butt. Nope. You don't, you don't, you know, like you don't know what you're talking These about, These guys right? didn't lose their skill in, in, in the last two hours. No, they didn't. They're still, so, like, the best Gears of War yeah. players on planet Earth. Exactly. But something else takes over at that moment when you're going into the initial and you die right away when you feel like something's just not working out i need someone on denial to be the the just the uh, you difference know what? maker I, i'm happy i'm seeing a little bit more patience out of rushies you get the quick pick get out all the way go to your spawn if mm -hmm. you need to if you guys want to drop back and play to your team strims denial strims is going to be holding that two hill setup slowing the game down and systematically picking off optic gaming and systematically gaining map control and and uh hitting them with that pincer attack right but Optic Gaming was standing in their face for all those quick picks. Like, this is a round that's very favorable for Denial because they're able to take a breather, slow it down just a little bit, utilize these drop shots. But we'll see if they can get it done. Sleepy's going to sacrifice his life to cap that hill. He still doesn't get it capped. Denial, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Blade, needs to go get that. But Denial are at their best when those Lancers are out. They're supporting one another. They're cross-firing. They have plans. They, they have an approach. That's when denial shines. And you said it, when they drop back, that's what they need to go back to their own basics for that. And they have A and C. They have the home hills. Let's see how they're going to play this one out Ooh. with Summons. Summons with the long shot. Goodbye. Oh, with the facelift. Now, I see he has another 1v1, but he's going to win this fight. Also, two members down of Optic Gaming. Denial needs to make the best of this opportunity to get new drop, get some more map control. Optic Gaming is just going to slow down. They say, hey, it's pretty much a tie game. We're going to wait for all players to come off respawn. We got plenty of opportunities to bring this one back. I see a few players rotating through the spawn of Optic Gaming, and that's the players that are spawning up. I'm curious to see where some is going to end up going with this extra sniper. But Denial is going to have to keep their heads on a swivel and know that Summons is going to be watching them from the background towards that from that B hill. Now you're going to start to see Denial pushing up, trading off 4v4 situation, just trying to get this kill. And Franchise is going to push up as well, secure the double, and Denial will get the new drop. 
He's going to have a double home hill setup. We're in a late game situation, and this is where they thrive. Yeah, when Denial are able to just slow this game down, use their Lancers, crossfire. This is exactly as I said, Blaze. Yep. The longer that this goes on, the better this is for Denial. Granted, Optic Gaming, they can do the same thing. They can drop into the Lancer game. They can support one another. But now you got to make a move. Optic Gaming have to make a move, and the upper hand goes to Denial. And their Lancers, I got to tip my, my hat to them just a little bit because they also are going to have that critical drop, sh drop shot. Here we go, though. No they hills do, capped. Yeah, no hills captured. This is a, actually a big moment for Optic Gaming because they were able to decap those hills. Rushies, though, gets the kill onto Summons, and they're able to get A back. Is that enough? Domination now coming in four seconds. You only got one or two players that are going to left lingering around in denial. Finally, finally, after five rounds of getting waxed, they get a round win. They needed this one, Blaze. Needed it big time. Denial cannot play at Optic's pace. Denial has to constantly set the pace of this game in their favor. The one thing that I noticed about when we watched them in the winter bracket finals is that they controlled everything. They were the one making the pushes. They were they felt like they owned the map. Now, on the flip end, it feels like Optic Gaming is setting the pace. They're owning the map. This is one of their better ones. And Denial is just reacting to everything that Optic Gaming is doing rather than setting the tempo. So we got frag grenades put down on deck. You got drop shot right in front of that as well. The battle for the drop shot always. Rushies, he's that guy who pushes in first. If it's not him, it's going to be Icy who picks up the drop shot for Denial. Still, though, the gun not going to be in anyone's hands as of yet. Summons is going to win a quick 1v1 against Rezik, and he's going to secure his team a B hill, but he's not worried about that. He wants to make sure he can secure his team the drop shot, so he's going to kind of flank around through spawn and be annoying, and Franchise knows that. That's why he tried to at least meet him there, get his health back. But this, in this position, Summons can be annoying, but he has to be quick because Rezik spawns up in five seconds, but I think he got the damage done. Sleepy and Rushy is trying to stay alive. They got nades. Sleepy wants to keep this me shield as long as possible. Yeah, he's going to need that shielding. He's going to need that help, but... That <laughs> just hurts to see there. Look how far back they're in the corner. Oh, they can't shoot drops in this area. No, they can't because they, if not, they're, they're going to get those team kills. But it seems like we're going to be good to go for Optic Gaming as they get three players down for Denial. Two drop shots in the hand of Optic Gaming. They currently have a home hill set up, but they got three players being aggressive on top of this B hill. This is explosive. This is Solars and Co. They're going to get on top of this one. Now, when you have both home hills, you got to force these players out. They have to fight you. And it won't matter. So it's something up with the comms, because usually, typically, Denial knows those situations that you have to fight that fight on B. You can't go back for snipe. So they didn't have a lot of clarity in that scenario. Optic Gaming 5-1 at the first half. 5-1. Optic Gaming two rounds away from being able to take another game. That will be three in a row. Three against quick Denial. Ones. Let's go to this Astro listening with Optic Gaming. See how the comms are because it has to be jumping. On numbers. We have one. We have one. Frame one shot. Frame one shot. Frame one down. Frame one shot. The market. No, I rotated off the rip. I rotated off the rip. Right. Don't even fight flat, boys. Do not fight flat. Right, I'm game, not fight I'm flat. Right, someone shot at the back row. I'm shooting at the back row. Good job, good job. Good job, good job. Oh my god, I'm one shot, baby. We have one here? Gil's got two, Gil's got two. No one. Go back to go in here. Argo, fuck, you're the best go. He's not gonna pay, he's not gonna pay. Come on, guys. Jump, jump, jump. What's that dog? What's that dog? Go to jump, go to jump. I'm good, I'm good. We're good, we're good. Alright, one in control, rush. It's a reset, it's a reset, it's a reset. Get our dad down, get our dad down. Got it. I don't know, I don't know, I'm up there. I'm one shot from control. One shot, one shot, one shot. Next, you know, he's not here, he's not here, he's not here. All right, you got toys, you got toys. Sleepy's one shot, bro, 80. Fuck. Okay, it's all good. About to push you already? I'll put this one. Just reset, guys. They're going to push you guys. They're going to push you guys. On a fan, on a fan. They want our arcade, guys. They want our arcade. They want our arcade. Watch out, CP. Watch out, CP. I got your right. Just CP across the map. On your right, on your right, on your right here. On your right, man. Watch out, on your right, LP. Brad's one shot. Get a kill, get a kill. Check, 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 check. Yo, come kill me too, daddy. Come kill me too. Yeah. Yo, come kill me too. Watch out, watch out, watch out. What you doing? Let's go. Push arcade, push arcade. I'm down, I'm down, Billy. I'm down. I got you, I got you. Son. I'm asking you to push him. He flew, he flew through the arcade. Do our arcade. I got him. One arcade. We kill our arcade. I'm in front of you guys. Arcade, arcade, boys. Kill arcade. Come on, fan. Pet chip, pet chip. Where's the arcade? Come, come, come. Back them. Right at me. Yeah, I'm flaking him. Oh my god. I'm flaking him, I'm flaking him. Behind me, behind me. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Our fan. 
I got shots. Get in, get in, get in. Almost shot, almost shot. Take his one, take his one. Oh, it's so fuck you doing, dumbass. I already knew I was gonna kill him. Good job, good job. Did you see me? Did you see me? Did you see me? What's up, what's up, LP? What's up, what's up, what's up? Down! Just do the hill, guys. Set up free, set up free. Back up, go, back up, back up. They're only two. They're fans, they're fans, they're fans. Go, they're fans, go. They're fans, go. You can shoot them. They're fans, they're fans. They're fans, they're fans. Our fans, our fans. Two top rock, two top rock. Okay, okay, they have top rock. We stop the hill. Don't let her break, don't let her break. I got a guy. Violet. Push, just three, you guys, three. Fair enough shot, fair enough shot. Fair enough salute. Yo, Billy, look at you. Yo, push up rock, push up rock, guys. Oh my god, Billy's wallet. Oh my god, Billy's wallet. Top rock, top rock, top rock. Let's go, baby. All right, we're pressing our hill. Pressing our hill. Yeah, I got shot, I got shot, I got shot. No kills, no kills, no kills. Already, I'm watching back. Oh yeah! Down. Coming to their hill, coming to their hill. Break them, 82, 82. Down, 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 down. That's where you got to be, got to be. What do you, what do you, what do you? Kill old man, kill the old man, kill old man, dead. One with D, one with D. Yeah, I think one's on D. It's fine, it's fine, hold the hill, hold the hill, hold the hill, hold the hill. Hold the hill, bro. What is it? Fucking fire. Yo, Alex and Gil, pitch E, I'm not going. Alex and Gil, pitch E. Where are they going? Watch out, go in E, watch out, go in E. You like it, you Come to ours, if anything, go. He's choking, he's choking. He's choking. He's choking. We gotta fight, go. Control, 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 yep, flying ours, that's score. Watch out, watch out. They don't make it around, they don't make it around. Nice. Oh, I just fucking easy, bro. violated them. Let's go. It's too easy. Bro. I had. Listen, right. listen. It's too easy. He's the best player in listen, the fucking world. Listen, 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 listen. Best player in the fucking world listen, right here. Listen, bro. I, I had three bullets. Three bullets. I sh swear to God, in my life, I had three bullets. Three bullets. I got three kills. Swear to God. This shit is easy, baby. <laughs> you love. You love to hear it. Optic man. It is, the, it, it's this is this is optic at 100. percent I'm telling you, he's getting real Bronx over there. I it, mean, it, it, I, you know, I live in one, uh, 140, <laughs> 148 Brook Avenue. I know what Bronx sound like. That's Bronx up in there. That's Bronx. That's up what in there, praise man. brings to <laughs> optic gaming. You hear those callouts, the passion behind it. Oh, even man. If, even if they're up five one, the passion in his callouts, letting his team know they're playing at 100 percent and they want to win. Like, if they win this at seven at seven one, the next map they want to win at seven zero. Oh. I don't, I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words, man. I can't believe that this is happening. Like, like what Mentu just did when he violated those those now <laughs> players in that 1v3, it, that's something that you really can't come back from. I know that this is an M-rated game, but sometimes, you know, you got you put the kids to bed because some of this stuff is just not, it's too the, hot for TV. The boys are out to play. That's right, it's this dangerous territory here, people. And they are hitting every shot. It's like, what are you supposed to do at this point when Optic Gaming are hitting every single shot? It's like, it's so difficult. Oh. I mean, look at Mento. Oh. Look at Mento. Wow. He goes in there, he doesn't care. It's like he's playing Halo and he's got an overshield on. Oh, man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And Optic Gaming gets their third map in a row, one map away from being your back to back Mexico City champions. That's what this, that's what that team needed to, to officially solidify that dynasty of that roster. Look at explosive right now. Oh, Captain. Oh, Captain, you saved that up. That's the red kill daddy coming in real time at the time. Uh. <laughs> Incredible stuff. Optic Gaming, Peyton to town green, man. It has just been unbelievable what they've been able to do. Denial after getting swept, or I should say sweeping Optic yeah. in winter bracket finals. And then and then Optic really having a tough battle against Ghost. Just the way that th this is a championship team. This is how you collect yourself in those do or die situations. This team has been in this moment so many times in the past. I know it just sounds like we're constantly hyping them up, yeah. but you win three games in a That's row. That's so hard in Gears of War. How? And That's then, so hard. What, what is Denial supposed to do, Fallout?
Yeah, I agree with Jordan. You got to you got to accept the fact that you got your butts kicked for three maps in a row. And yeah. That's why you got to say, hey, you know what? I accept the fact that we suck for three maps in a row. But in this moment, we still have an opportunity to win the grand finals. We still have the opportunity to win these next two maps. It's Old Town. It's damn. It's two maps that we have not played Optic Gaming on yet. You got to have that presence of mind to forget about those previous three maps because currently they don't mean a damn thing. There are a lot of there are a lot of great teams out there. Now, you know, there are a lot of great teams out there. Wait, no, no, you say I'm off, I'm off, you say esports history? Oh no, relax. I thought you were talking about gears, man. Uh, well, Con 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 esports, yeah, yeah, 100%. Well, actually, you know what? Now esports needs all your hype, all the energy in the world right now to just, to stop this monster that is Optic Gaming. And we're gonna jump into map number two. On Thank you, Fallout. Here we go. And we going right into this one. Yeah, yeah, we are going to hop right into this one. And actually, I can't double back it, you know, especially at console. Console eSports, 100%. This Optic Gaming roster, and I don't care. Um, they're definitely one of the better teams when it comes down to, you know, COD, Halo, and Gears, all those epic uh, dynasties. You can actually put this team in an equation, right? Uh, you, you they, know they, they've, do, they've done some, some miraculous things over these last few seasons. But uh, the most important yeah. thing is their consistency. Yeah, you know, it, it reminds me of Tox. It also reminds me of Splice later on in, in, in Halo 5. Uh, and, and just how they, it always felt like you just could never count them out. It didn't matter who they played against, right? Yeah. Uh, Optic Gaming and Call of Duty, uh, their incredible runs that they've had in the past. There's just some so many great teams that you could really <laughs> call to in this Optic Gaming Gears of War roster. This is just like... You know, this is this is a, a thing of I, beauty. I found a common strand in all the names that you just said, and, and I heard a lot of Optic Gaming. <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> I mean, out. if there's one thing that my boy Hector knows how to do is pick champions. That's and, damn and right about he, that He's one. done it a lot, and it doesn't matter, you know, what happens with that organization. They they, they have won so many championships because of this team. And they, I, and again, I, I would like to just uh, clarify this for the viewers. Not out of this yet is Denial Esports. Not nope. trying to count them out. Nope. But... Optic Gaming, they are making this one incredibly difficult, and already Optic have this lead denial. They got to dig themselves out of this hole, and it, it's it's a mental hole, and it's also just in their gameplay too. There's a lot of things that they got to get going if they want to be able to come back in this final. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, you know, it doesn't matter who wins, but I do want to see a game three. I'm not gonna be Me honest too. with you. I, I will really like to see a game I three in this one for the fans. I don't want to go out like this. No, nah, not like this. I want at least for them to show that hey, we got to fight that we can win a map and we can make this map number three on down the most competitive map in Gears 4 history. In this Gears, denial yeah. team was built for this. You know, they were built to, to be able to take on Optic Gaming and they did it one time in, in, in spectacular fashion in Winter Bracket Finals. They need to do this here. But right now, it is just gonna be Optic Gaming having their way. Domination in just a couple of seconds here. Sleepy's gotta Ooh. come up big in this matchup against Mental, dancing around, and he comes around the corner. Here he comes. Four seconds, three seconds, and we're looking at this one going to Optic Gaming. That's 1-0. Optics starting right where they left off. Really are just picking up from square one. But hey, this is a new map. So denial, having a first weapon placement in this one uh, can be very crucial for them to set the tone, set the tempo. It's gonna be drop shot on back street, going back to their bread and butter. And I say they should do that. Drop or boom one or the two. And they're, they're actually gonna go for boom instead. So that's saying that, hey, you know, we got a little bit of respect for Optic because even if they do get the boom, they're gonna have four, sh they're gonna have two shots rather than four. So if Denial finds himself in a, uh, a sticky situation, they can kind of bait out those two rockets. Man. It's hard to bait out four drops. It, it, it really is. It really is, but here here comes. You got uh, Denial investing a lot of resources into the boom shot as they should. So is Optic Gaming. Four players on the ramp now as the scrimmage begins in the middle. Explosives, oh. though. 
it's like you see one happen and then the, the kills just keep on coming. Solars, he's gonna take out Explosive too. It doesn't matter. Five his, his shotgun's hitting everything. It's hitting everything. Explosive's gonna cap his home hill off respawn. All the other members of Optic and they got Gaming. The boom shot watching. Oh, actually, they already got a few players up top. He's gonna let him go, and he's gonna bring this rocket down to the corner. He told his teammate, he says, hey, back up, back up. I'm bringing a boom down the hall. That's, That's gonna one. be one. He got another one in hand. I think he just saves that. That was smart. Saves it. They're pinned inside. They, they don't have an option. And they can't go back out the back end because it's players of Optic watching back street. So Denial is trapped until they can get a few kills. But they need to get this, uh, this rocket out of Optic Gaming's hand. But Solars is just so patient. And Solars, yes, you said patience. That was beautiful. With the boom shot, a lot of players at, at any given point in time, what they'll do is as soon as that player crept around the corner, he was going to waste that boom shot. Not Solars. He holds on to that for so long because that puts the fear of God in denial yep. when they're in that hallway knowing that they can't group up because if they do, they're going to give Solars a multi-kill. And, 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 you know, your anxiety just kicks in because it's like, can you please shoot this rocket so I don't have to think about this when I'm fighting my fights? Uh, but Optic, we saw the discipline from him on that round. And it looks like Denial says, hey, we want to block out these dual spawns. Uh, just keep that big heavy power weapon on that side of the map if you want. But they're going to say, hey, you know what? Let's put some nades in the middle of the map. Open up some different strategies for us. If you get the nades, you're able to send them over to the boom shot fight. So that middle uh, scuffle is going to be very important. Yeah. Who are going to be the players that go down there? We'll see. With the boom and the nades on the map, we're, we're typically going to see probably a 3-2. Three, three at back street, two in middle map every round. And actually, we're going to see a different variation. We're going to see a 3-4. Who's that one player in yeah, market? That, an extra player is just Mental by himself in a 1v2. Does oh. Mental win this? No, Mental's going to go down. So Rushies, now they get, they get the weapons, you, but they're losing the battle in the back street. But, but now at this point, you can grab the nades. You can bait Optic into the boom, toss the nades over there, try to pick up a few kills. But what Denial should have done is after they killed Mental, both these players franchise and Rezik, well, Rezik and whoever that was, should have pulled out their lancers and started lancing through that smoke, trying to at least get one down to start a chain revive so you can utilize those nades better. Summons with the boom shot once again, and he's going to be real coy with that, only using them when he needs to. I think that was one shot. Did yeah. they use the second, though? No, they didn't. So this is another situation where, you know, if you want to, you can kind of bake this boom out, right? Now, imagine that player had three extra drops to use. That's a more difficult situation. That's why Denial opted to put the boom shot down instead of the drop shot. But Optic Gaming knows that they have a man advantage, and when they know this, this is when they get aggressive. Smokes come out, here comes Summons. That's going to stun Sleepy, which is going to send him back. Summons. Goes right for that safe haven, that cover, and Sleepy's going to be tucked in the corner. He's not going to have a lot of help to live. That's going to be a substantial respawn for him. Now, Franchise, very weak inside of the point. He had two players in there trying to just bounce around and get out of dodge because it was not looking good. They have managed to surround the two players from off the gaming, though. Summons is going to be creeping. He doesn't get that shot, and Rushies is there to help him Did out. Rezik, excuse me, is there to help him out. Denial had to win that team fight. They hit a pinch come in from Bell Tower. They hit a 3v2 situation on two of the Optic Gaming members trying to capture their home hill. Got that player caught some and slipping, but Solars with a defensive stand going to get reinforcements. Hill and Praise to defend the B Hill. They need to because it's the only hill Optic Gaming has, and yes, they will. Solars played that angle so well, Blaze. As soon as he 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 realized that there was going to be a player that could potentially oh, land her, he went right out for that box and played the cover to perfection. You can't really uh, clean up that kill on that side of the map. You got to have a player come pick him up. Like Sleepy explosive. needs to be a little patient, a little bit more patient while franchise get those Lancer shots in, because uh, all Fran had to do was get one down for Sleepy, and Sleepy could have had control over that entire fight. Explosives has secured the frag grenades. I believe the boom shot was also picked up. We're yes, it see is. Who in a second here? But that spread. And boom shots in the hand of Solars for Optic Gaming. Again. So now Denial has to defend from this one. They're going to be down by about 50 or so points. And they, they need all three hills, and they need to start now. You really don't have time because you want as much time as you can get. So this push should have probably came six years ago, and it started on the left-hand left side of the map. So Rezik waiting for his teammates to get noticed to draw some attention away from the push coming down towards this B alley. But you got Boomshot protecting the backstreet blaze, and because of that, they're going to get those easy picks. The nades are also going to instant get them as soon as they push on through, and this is going to be off the gaming one more time with Three rounds straight. They, Are we going to look at a 7-0 potentially? They've won 10 of the last 11 rounds. <sighs> and Optic Gaming is showing no signs of stopping. Frank. Denial, keep, they keep 
trying out new things. Nades in the middle. Maybe that'll work. All they right. Block Bell Tower. Blocks on the side. They want to keep the fight towards the B side on Backstreet. So that means that Denial is co constantly trying to make adjustments, constantly trying to just change up while they're losing these initials off the start with this boom. We'll see in round four, have they finally found the final piece of that puzzle of beating Optic Gaming at the Backstreet. Really want to see Denial just get back into this game, folks. <laughs> you know, I know as a commentator, you got to be a little unbiased, but... But we want to see a, a, a good game. And exactly. you know what? This is a good one, because I think Gaming winning four maps in a row. I didn't think that they honestly could do it at this tournament, and they proved me wrong, and we're seeing why. Franchise gets one. Franchise gets two. Also, Rushy's picked up a double. And Denial, they're going to win that fight. You got one player left for Optic Gaming. That's mental. They have B. They're ready. Optic, so you're going to start to see this boom shot. In the hands of Franchise, here comes the pressure. It's still two members down of, of, of Optic. You want to be able to use this boom, probably pick up a double. You want some help from mid-map. Rezik is getting trapped for whatever reason, and he's going to fall. Fran got another kill with that boom, but everybody not on the same page for the Nile there. But it's the, still, they could have got that trip cap. Well, they're close to getting it there. They Rush started ooh. it up. Rushy's had to get out. Yeah, forces some movement. Rushy's will have some assistance, but he's getting shot. And look at that, Lancer fire right from behind me. The help, the help that, that they're getting off the gaming. Praise is there to assist him. So Solius is going to get his home hill back gonna wait. for Optic. Now Optic is going to get their first set of points. Denial needs to understand that, hey, since we got such a big lead, we can take our time on some of these fights. We don't, we're not in a rush at this point. And when Denial is not in a rush, that's when they do their best. Solars was waiting for him. He knew that something was fishy and a player was going to be hanging out there. Even though his teammate looked to be going toward Bell Tower, that call out came and the help was right there immediately. Three down, four down. Rushy's last man standing. Can the mechanical wizard manage to build his way out of this one? But no. That's another one. Get out of here. Optic Gaming. Four rounds in a row on this map. I want. I was at first. I was gonna say the last four maps they won the first four rounds in each one. Except except Forge. It was still close though. All right. What does now I want to do? This map is set up exactly the way that they, that they want it to be, but. Nothing's coming out of it. Optic no. Gaming is just too much. And I, and, I, and I said at this point, you know, I don't even think the maps matter. I just think Optic Gaming is just in their heads at this point. It's all psychological. They're destroying them. They got the momentum. They got the crowd. If Denial, they still have a shot. I've seen plenty of 4-0 comebacks. I've seen 6-2 comebacks. All right? I've seen a lot of things in Gears of War 4 this season. Grizzled so they're, they're not out of it just <laughs> yet. But, oh, man, somebody needs to step it up. Indeed, Blaze. Rushy does, does get that quick pickup, though, with the boom shot on a team kill. Rezik kills Franchise, which they don't have the, uh, a player there, and Explosive is still going to be alive. Got Icy. He's still going to fight, though. He's still going to keep this one going. Hanging around the pillar, but he's going to be so weak. Look at that, the Crimson Omen, and that is going to chunk him. Sleepy, all alone, in the middle of the map. Down, and now he will be out. Is this happening? Oh! Oh, man, that's not nice. He's letting him know, Blaze. He's letting him know oh. you're getting in the head. Oh. It's, it's, it's over before it started. That's how it felt like. How you don't like Gears of War? <laughs> oh, I love this game. Oh, man. Now, Fran, he's going to be pick up that kill. Gets a nice shot into Praise, but now starting to back up on this one. Optic Gaming are the aggressors, but Rezik starting to turn up a little bit towards the B Hill, trying to put this one in his favor. Optic Gaming, they came back into that last round, even being down by about 80 or so points. So it's all about getting these kills. Denial can play for that trip cap domination. Currently, you got two members down on the oh. side of the. Oh my god. You know what? Take it away, Golden Boy. What the hell? He just turned around, didn't even look like he had the second hand on the Nasher. <laughs> it was like a one handed Nasher kill. <laughs> oh my god. You can't let that happen. Summons is a monster. Summons is coming alive. He's ascending before our very eyes, people. Super Saiyan Bear. Alex Ascension getting it done. <laughs> I see. He falls. Optic Gaming looking to get in his home hill, looking to go up five rounds in a row. But Denial has found an entry point. They've got into their home hill. They slowed down this assault a little bit. Four players are, are off a of respawn. They're trying to get the back street as soon as possible to play for this new boom shot. Very important power weapon, though. They got a player down. 
And here you see the audience in Mexico City. Oh, you can't City. allow that to happen. You can't. But his teammate will get picked up. So B's going to get decapped. Sleepy's going to fall. But he does get the kill on Mental. They're going to stop the domination. They're going to stop the bleeding. Still a big lead. One, 46 to 45. Franchise has angles. So explosive is in a difficult spot. He's going to fall. But you need the B hill. You need the A hill. I don't think Denial has been on Optic Gaming side of the map this entire round. Nah, they've been pinned in the back. Pinned the entirety of this matchup. So now they got to overextend towards his home hill. But look at the advantage at the, high, at the high side, especially with such a big lead. Mental could just kind of just chill out. Lancer, get these marks on these players. Optic Gaming is backing up and just going to try to down out Denial one by one. Went off one hill. Oh, praise. That hurt. And we haven't really discussed that, what that high ground advantage looks like for Optic Gaming. They've been able to utilize it a couple times, like what you saw right there. So maybe Denial has a chance when it flips over and they go up to the high ground. I mean, I'm just trying to find something. Yeah, 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 you're digging deep, Golden Boy. I'm really, I, I really am. Explosives gets a double kill. He's letting them know. He's giving them the disrespect. Summons isn't missing anything. Optic Gaming, two rounds away from completing a flawless reverse sweep. <laughs> what do, do we can we call it a reverse we can't really call it a reverse sweep this but isn't a, this is just this is just flawless victory it's just a flawless yeah two rounds away from a flawless victory now that's what this game is and the be. losers bracket in the grand finals of the biggest event of the year might as well put the kitchen sink on the map denial just get something throw something at them at this point explosives is just like a fire breathing dragon he's out here he's hot 23 kills, eight downs, eight deaths. The crowd in Mexico City, a sight to behold. Everyone joining in, 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 in song, and it's been so fun for everyone here. But we got some more Gears of War to watch. It's not over yet. I don't. I, I got I to gotta keep rooting for Denial to be able to bring something back here. Get a round win going into the half. Something that's going to give you that kind of momentum that you can build off of. This is the furthest your back can be up against the wall. It's 5-0. to zero. At this point, you're in the wall. Yeah, you, you are in the wall. Now, you're in the green wall at this point, correct? <laughs> hey, so, you. Okay, Denial, get out of this situation. It's going to take a lot of pressure. It's going to take a lot of resilience from these guys. And it starts now. Push him back. Shock grenade's going to close out that lane, and Sleepy's going to pay for that one as he back rolls over there. The hammer burst, a lot of damage being output. Explosives gets a kill on Sleepy with the nades, and they're clearing him out. They're clearing him out of here, Blaze. Yeah, Mental with a double kill. Optic Gaming looking to get aggressive towards his back street. Now that new boom shot is going to be up soon, and it's actually going to be there. Rushy's head one in hand. Here comes Nades. He is going to get away, but he's going to fall down. there. Five down, Blaze. We're going to match point. Optic Gaming, the flawless victory. I told you, Golden Boy. I said if Optic Gaming beats him 7-1 on this map, they're that damn good and that damn focused. They're going to try to beat him 7-0 on the next one. And that's exactly what it's looking like. Solars is asking questions. He's wondering, he's, he's like, what's going on? Mm. There's a lot of trash being talked. There was a lot of, you know, there, there was a, the whole thing about the strats and, 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 and the controversy and the discussions. and That winner's bracket finals. Ooh. And it worked, right? They now won. Yeah. They won the game. But somehow, some way between there and now, they lost something. You can win the winner bracket final, but it's all about the big one. Optic Gaming, one round away from perfection. 7-0 in the grand final. Are the shots missing? Oh, it's going to be Denial. Denial is going to be able to bounce back here. OK, here we go. Five players down. Someone's going to be the last one left alive. If you remember, you get that reset. We're going to be in round seven, so that means that the respawns go back to 12 seconds here. Summons, though, is a man possessed after taking out Franchise. But Denial finally, finally are going to get a point on the board. Beat, 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 you, beat. Heartbeat. Beat. A little bit. It's faint. Some life, man. It's, it's super faint. Some life. Mm. 
I don't know, man. I, I, I think after gaming, they're ruthless at this point. With the foot on the throat, even if it's faint, they're going to try to end it now. Shout out to the Mexico City crowd. Shout out to all the fans at home who've enjoyed the awesome Gears of War action. We appreciate you guys. It's been a wild event, Golden Boy. It really has. I really, really, really was hell-bent on doing an event in Mexico City, and I'm so mm. glad I got to come here and experience it. You really, yeah, you know, uh, you've been here twice, you know, the Halo World Finals. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, this is pretty much kind of like our World Finals as well with the amount of people that's out here. But in round number eight, we're going to see if the Dow can get another one on the board or if Optic is going to come out and be your champions of Mexico City. Look for the initials here. It's going to be important. Franchise is going to get peppered up quite a bit. Now he's really going to be in pain, and he jumps over that ledge. I don't think that's what he wanted to have happen. And he's letting him know, Blaze. He's they're, letting him know. They're working this crowd. And when Optic Gaming is having fun, there's such a threat. Denial. Here we go. Three Five seconds. Dead. They had a great event, Golden Boy. But it's not enough. Optic Gaming win 2-0, 2-0. Reset the bracket. They are your Gears Pro Circuit Mexico City Open champions. Congratulations to Optic Gaming. That was one of the hardest things that they have ever done in their career. And they showed that they still got it. Dominance personified the championship lights came out all smiles the entire time and it is optics moment to shine once again ladies and gentlemen your champions optic gaming can we say ghost gaming woke them up in that losers finals match and they heard that crowd they thought they were going to get third place for a second and we say that Optic Gaming cements themselves officially as one of the greatest to ever have done it. Unbelievable. I don't think there's any doubt there, man. There's no doubt there. To do it with 2 0 2 0. Wow. And in front of this crowd. Wow, look at the cameras. That's such a beautiful shot. Unbelievable. 14 2 in that grand final set number Ghost two. Ghost Gaming was three rounds away at map number yeah. three from sitting Optic Gaming home oh, on Harbor. would have been third place. Ghost Gaming oh, almost did it. That's what we were waiting it. for. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Optic Gaming for cementing their place in history of Gears of War by winning the Mexico City Open. Crazy wow. stuff. Crazy stuff, man. They deserve it. They worked so hard for this event. It was their toughest event to win, but they show with this roster, it's a winning combination. The five best Gears of War players in the world. Praise is still looking over there and laughing, by the way. But look at look at this Optic Gaming squad. Truly, when we started to doubt them, Blaze, you predicted a 2-0 for Denial, an Optic 4-0 reverse sweeps this Denial squad that had it dropped a map all tournament. You can hardly believe it. And that's four event wins in a row for them. I believe five was their streak when they had Icy and Kenny. It sounds like we got power ready for an interview with Optic Gaming. Let's hear it directly from them, the champs.